Reincarnated as a fox with system. Misfortune, what is misfortune? Someone said he had misfortune because he did not win the lottery that day. Another said she had misfortune because her boyfriend broke up with her. Tang Li Shui could only sneer at them, misfortune? No one knew more about misfortune than her. Her mother died when giving birth to her. Her father was a heavy gambler and acquired a lot of debt. Her father then fled, leaving only the sickly Tang Li Shui with her poor big brother. She had poor health since she was little, so without money or an education her brother had no choice but to join a gang to pay her hospital fees and the debt their father left them. Again, fate played with her life. Her beloved big brother was involved in a brawl between gangs and was hit by a car. In the end, he was left as a vegetable. Tang Li Shui began to question God's existence. How could her life be so miserable? She forced herself to work so she could pay the hospital fees for her big brother. There was no other choice, her big brother was in a coma and they were saddled with countless debts thanks to their father. There was no time for her to complain about her misfortune and no time for her to pray for good fortune. She could only work multiple jobs day and night. Tang Li Shui's sickly body became weaker and weaker with each passing day. In the end, everything went blank, as her vision turned black. Tang Li Shui slowly regained her consciousness. Ah, I never felt this good before in my life. It's as if my body became really light, so light, like I am flying. The heck? I really am flying. Tang Li Shui opened her eyes and found out that she was flying in an empty white space. Opened her eyes wasn't really accurate since she was actually a flying soul in the shape of a ball right now and she had no eyes to open. Boho ho, what a poor child. Tang Li Shui turned her field of vision and found there was an old granny in this empty white space. E.H. Granny, please don't cry. I am okay. Tang Li Shui sighed. It looks like I am really dead now. But I am still really worried about my big brother. I hope. He can wake up from his coma soon and find his own happiness in the end. Tang Li Shui thought. As a soul, she cannot speak yet the old granny seemed to understand her anyway. Don't worry poor child, everything has its own fate and destiny. By the way, this granny's name is Meng Po. You can call me Grandma Meng. Grandma Meng's smile was very gentle and full of sympathy. After reading Tang Li Shui's history, Grandma Meng truly sympathized with Tang Li Shui and mourned her previous fate. But she also knew that there was no alternative. There were only two ways to become a deity and escape from a mortal's fate of growing old, suffering, and finally death. The first way was through cultivation, rising up from a mortal to an immortal and finally becoming a deity. The second way was through reincarnation and experienced 729 or 9 by 9 by 9 lives of suffering, trials, and tribulation. There was no other way other than these two. Even Tang Sanzang, Sun Wukong, Zhu Baji, and company had to pass 81, or 9 by 9, trials and tribulations on their journey to obtain sutras and become deities. Do not worry child. In your next life you are destined to be a rich aristocrat's daughter. You will marry a kind-hearted second prince from a big empire, and live happily ever after. Grandma Meng said reassuringly with a gentle smile on her face before giving Tang Li Shui a cup of her forgetfulness tea. Tang Li Shui was smiling and bouncing in happiness. After my last life of misfortunes and suffering, this time I will get a happy life. Thank you, God. Thank you, Grandma Meng. It was not strange that this time Tang Li Shui got a happy life, since if a soul experienced too much suffering and misfortunes in consecutive samsaras, then it would acc. You. Mulate resentment and become an evil spirit. So usually, everyone would get their own trials, sufferings, and happiness equally. Tang Li Shui drank Grandma Meng's forgetfulness tea happily and gave the cup back to her. Good child, go and enter that tunnel over there. I hope you will quickly amass enough good karma to become a deity. Grandma Meng pat Tang Li Shui's head, air the top of her soul. Tang Li Shui bowed toward Grandma Meng and jumped into the tunnel. The tunnel was not dark at all. The walls were black but there were countless light sparks of different colors, twinkling like the night sky. Yuwa, it really feels like I went back to the material plane. Maybe this tunnel actually connects this mysterious netherworld with the countless planets and cosmos in the material world. Tang Li Shui sighed mentally. Whatever, it's not my business anymore since I will forget everything later anyway. 
But when Tang Li Shui was halfway through the tunnel, BZZZT, BZZZT the ground started to shake violently. What? Even in this afterlife, there are also earthquakes. I, I, I feel sick. Oik, Tang Li Shui felt extremely dizzy and uncomfortable. When she dropped down, she puked all the forgetfulness tea back out. What? What is happening? Don't tell me that damn monkey is playing around with the samsara tunnel again. Grandma Meng quickly stood up and cursed. Oh no, that good child. Alas, hopefully, nothing bad happened to her. If it did, I will make that damned monkey take responsibility for it. Grandma Meng jumped up in panic and checked the tunnel out, but her face quickly turned pale. Damn monkey, you are asking for it. Grandma Meng screamed in anger. Tang Li Shui started to regain consciousness but her body still felt numb. Ha, I puked out all the tea of forgetfulness while in that tunnel, sorry Grandma Meng, it was all really an accident. But really, I will be reborn with my previous memories fully intact like in the novels, then Tang Li Shui sighed, unfortunately, Earth did not have any supreme godly techniques, magic, or mystical arts, so my memories are all practically useless. I didn't even have enough money to go to school nor have the time to learn any useful skill, she sighed again. Please be calm and wait, you will soon awaken to experience your new life in this world. Whoa, I'm so excited, a new world, I will be a rich princess and marry a handsome prince this time. Uehe, he 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 he, muahahahahaha, oops, Tang Li Shui. Please mind your manners and be more feminine. You're an aristocratic princess to be after all, peefed, he he he. You will be reborn in the high-ranked realm, the immortal world, light-wind continent, south prefecture, moonlight forest. Wuah, -ah, ah, high-ranked realm, immortal world. Wuah, -ah, will there be any cultivators that can ride on a flying sword like in wuxia movies there? This system is given to host as compensation for the mistake made by the great sage heavens equal. Please use it carefully and host can reach the deity realm far more easily. E.H. Mistake? What mistake? The great sage heavens equal? Whoa, -ah, he gave me a system to reach deity realm? So generous? Thank you very much, Uncle Sun. Level 1. Cultivation Technique. None martial arts. None. Divine ability. None. Stats. HP. 2020 Strength. 1. Agility. 3 Toughness. 1. Skills. Bite. LV1. Scratch. LV1. Stat point. 5 Skill point. 1. Woo. This. This is awesome. I have my own system. Does it mean I am the true heroine of this world now? I. I. I can't believe this. Am. Am I dreaming? Hoo hoo. This. This is really too good to be true. But. But. Bite. Scratch. Are. Aren't these skills a little weird? Tang Li Shui's body started to regain some sensation, although she still felt incredibly numb. She twitched a bit and slowly opened her eyes to welcome her new world. But the first thing that caught her eyes was a pair of furry white paws in front of her. E.H. Something feels wrong here, don't tell me. E. Species. Fox cub. Grade. Poor. What the hell? Calm down, Tang Li Shui. Fua. Fua. Tang Li Shui looked around her surroundings and found that she was in a cave. But this cave was not very dark since there was some warm sunlight that came in from a hole in the cave's ceiling. Tang Li Shui exited the small cave, walked toward a small pond near the cave, and used its still surface as a mirror to see her reflection. White furry body, furry paws, furry tail. Her body was so tiny, probably not even bigger than a palm. She looked really cute, far cuter than even a kitten. The most eye-catching feature was her topaz-like sparkling eyes. They were so beautiful that it almost mesmerized even herself. But that was not the problem here. Oh my g o o o d d d d. This. Is this the mistake? Tang Li Shui felt a bang in her mind and she almost passed out again in shock and disbelief. Wah, Uncle Sun. Is this the mistake that you were talking about? Quickly turn me back into a human. I don't want your damn system, wah. Tang Li Shui was bawling out loud. It took her a few minutes but she eventually calmed down and stopped crying. Tang Li Shui was a poor orphan child in her previous life so her ability to adapt to her situation was actually really high. 
It was just that her heart was full of disappointment and frustration with the current reality since Grandma Meng had already promised her a happy life this time. After drinking a few mouthfuls of water in the small pond, growl, 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 Tang Li Shui's stomach started to protest. Well, I am really hungry now. Tang Li Shui was aware that since she was a beast now that she needed to hunt in order to eat. So, the first thing she had to do was to examine her new system thoroughly to increase her survivability since she was in the middle of a wilderness full of dangers like predatory beasts, not to mention human hunters that would probably be showing up. Ha! Huh, these stat points are. Tang Li Shui decided to put four stat points in agility and one stat point in strength since she needed agility the most to run from any predators and also to chase her prey. As for this skill point, how can I use this? While Tang Li Shui was pondering about it, some choices were displayed in front of her. Hide, SP cost. 1, dash, SP cost. 1, jump, SP cost. 1, climb, SP cost. 1, enhanced sense of smell, SP cost. 1, enhanced sense of hearing, SP cost. 1, enhanced sight, SP cost. 1, greater strength, SP cost. 1. Greater reflexes, SP cost. 1. Greater endurance, SP cost. 1. Greater flexibility, SP cost. 1. Whoa, that's a lot of options. And almost all of them are important. Okay. Calm down, Li Tang Shui. I mean, Tang Li Shui. R. Why'd I only have one skill point? Tang Li Shui decided to take hide, so she could easily ambush her prey and hide from any predators later. So her current status was now, species, fox cub, grade, poor, level 1, cultivation technique, none, martial arts, none divine ability, none, stats, HP, 2020 strength, 2 agility, 7 toughness, 1, skills, bite, LV1, scratch, LV1, hide, LV1, stats point, 0 skill point, Zero, item. Level 1 newbie gift package. EH, what is this, level 1 newbie gift package, open it then. Gained. Immortal World's newbie guide. 1x double express card. 1 hour. 3x recovery pill. 1x lucky sticker. 1x bronze lottery ticket. 1x cultivation voucher. 50 deity coins. Level 5 novice gift package. Wooah, so many items but my stomach is really starving. Oh well, I guess I will check them out later then. Let's hunt and eat first. Moonlight Forest was really vast and complicated. Unlike a man-made forest on Earth, Moonlight Forest was a natural forest so all the grass was really tall, making it hard for Tang Li Shui to see what was in front of her. Moreover, there were many dense bushes and large trees that made Tang Li Shui even more nervous since she was afraid that someone may follow her or something would jump out suddenly. Fortunately, she chose to learn the hide skill first so she could use it from time to time and advance slowly for safety. Hide skill has increased to LV2, ooh, so that's how I level up the skills. I just need to use it more frequently to level it up. Okay, here goes nothing. By the time Tang Li Shui found some prey, her hide skill already leveled up to level 3. A mouse, the small critter jumped out from a nearby bush and ran away but it did not notice that Tang Li Shui actually hid near it. No, 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 no mice or rats, please. Even though this lady is a fox now, I was a proper lady before, so, please, no mice. It was not like she was afraid of mice or rats, but when she imagined putting a mouse or rat in her mouth, Yuek, let's not think about it, next. A snake then slithered down from a big tree, should I try it, it doesn't look as bad. But as Tang Li Shui approached the snake, she soon realized, the snake was huge. Oh, no, actually, it was her that was still too tiny. Let's, let's give up on the snake for now. The level jump for this battle is actually quite far for a fox cub like this lady with that A. D. U. L. T old snake, that's not fair at all. Again, Tang Li Shui used her, hide, to distance herself away from the snake and took another direction to hunt. After a few more hours her, hide, skill leveled up again to level 4 but she still did not find any prey that fit her preference, 
she was getting even hungrier and starting to feel dizzy. Fortunately, at last, she found the right prey that fit with her taste. A rabbit, well, to be exact, it was a hare, hares were bigger than rabbits and of course, stronger as well. Use, finally, my meal is here, come here little bunny, come to mama. Ding, quest, first hunt, kill a hare and eat it. Reward, level plus one, stat point plus one, skill point plus one, ten deity coins. Tang Li Shui only glanced at the message but she was too starving to think about it. What was on her mind right now was only the food in front of her. Eh, it realized that I am here, it looks like my hide is still too limited. Her, hide, skill right now still had many flaws. For example, she cannot move when the skill was in use or the skill would be cancelled. Another one was if someone got too close to her, the, hide, skill would be broken and that person, or beast, would be able to see her. Since Tang Li Shui could not ambush it she decided to take initiative to attack the hare first. Scratch. Some lines of blood appeared on the hare's body and the hare quickly decided to counterattack. Bang. The hare kicked with a hind leg toward Tang Li Shui's head. She tried to dodge it but failed to get completely out of the way. However, at least the hare's kick hit her shoulder instead of her head. Oh watch. You. You damn bunny. How dare you hurt this lady deity. Candidate. Take this. Tang Li Shui used, scratch, again and managed to hit the hare's face. Tang Li Shui's strength was still too low so she could not deal critical damage to the hare and was forced into a battle of attrition. Scratch skill has increased to LV2. Good timing, again, scratch. This time, Tang Li Shui managed to land her scratch on one of the hare's eyes and made it roll over on the grass in pain. Chance, now OR never eat this sssss ultimate attack oogie tang li shui used her bite skill and chomped on the hare's vulnerable neck pssshhhh the blood poured out as tang li shui used her sharp fangs to tear out the flesh in the hare's neck yes win hosh hosh you not bad at all to think a lowly creature such as yourself could fight for a few moves against this lady deity candidate you should be proud of yourself you fought well in your last moments. Ding. Quest completed. Gained. Level plus one, stat point plus one, skill point plus one, ten deity coins. Ding. Congratulations. You achieved level two, plus five stat points, plus one skill point. At last, level up. But I did not gain any express for winning the battle like in an RPG. Is it because I can only level up through completing quests? Whatever. Let's eat first. But you are RRGGGHHH. Is there really no way to roast this rabbit meat? After hesitating for a while, Tang Li Shui resigned herself and took a bite of the raw hare meat in front of her. The pungent smell of blood invading her nose made her almost vomit the raw meat out again. But she forcefully suppressed the urge and swallowed it down after chewing for a while. Well, its taste is actually not that bad. Maybe because I became a fox cub, so my taste buds also changed? Express gained, oh, so I just need to eat to gain express, haha, <laughs> easy? Express gained, express gained. Bite skill has increased to LV2. Ding, congratulations. You achieved level 3, plus 5 stat points, plus 1 skill point. Great, level 3, sigh, it's really not easy. Tang Li Shui rubbed her bloated stomach in satisfaction and remembered that she still hadn't checked the items that she got from the newbie package earlier. But before she had the time for that, Russell, Russell, Russell. There were four more hairs that came out from the nearby bushes. Tang Li Shui was surprised and glanced at her HP bar for a second. HP. 38 fiftieths to fight or not? Of course not. Fighting against a single hair already reduced her HP by 12. Against four hairs, she would at least get hit four times. Assuming each of them hit her once then it meant the damage that she would receive would be 48 in total. In reality, she would get hit a lot more than four times if she got surrounded in the fight. She sighed. In her previous life, she had a weak sickly body and in this life, she became a fox cub with weak defense. God was so unfair. I hate you all. Run away. Damn. Ah. Uh, good bunnies. Kind bunnies. Let's discuss this for a bit. 
I really only did it out of self-defense, you believe me, right? At first, the four hares were also shocked and afraid of her but when they saw how tiny Tang Li Shui's body was, she was still a cub after all, they regained their confidence and started to dash toward her. Ugya, you, you all, are, are you really men? Actually, you are beasts, not men. Fight this lady one on one if you dare, Tang Li Shui shouted in her mind but her petite fox body had already run away and dove into the bushes frantically. However, the speed of a d u l t hairs was actually higher than a fox cub like Tang Li Shui, so they caught up to her in only a few seconds. Right, I still have unused status points. She immediately put 8 points into agility to help with escaping and the last 3 points into strength for counter-attacking if possible. And by, dash, ability, you have gained dash ability. With her agility combined with her, dash, Tang Li Shui could easily escape now, so she started to think. Should she spend 2 more of her current skill points to buy an offensive skill like, greater strength, or, pounce, and counter-attack? Meh, no need for that. I will save it so I can buy the skills I need in a critical time later. My stomach is already full anyway. Goodbye, bunnies. Remember this lady already reserved your lives for this lady's meal tomorrow. Fwoosh, fwoosh, fwoosh. Tang Li Shui's speed was already twice as fast as before and she used her, dash, skill on top of that. She ran so fast that she could even feel the wind fiercely blowing against her furry, petite body. Tang Li Shui felt that 10 points in agility basically made her speed the same as an A. D. U. L. T human when sprinting and now she had 15 points in agility so she was one and a half times faster than an A. D. U. L. T human. Furthermore, the dash skill increased her speed by twice, so she was three times faster than an A. D. U. L. T human now. But of course, there were also drawbacks when using, dash, she was also expending her stamina twice as fast. Woohoo, I am so fast now, I am the wind, no one can catch me, just kidding, haha, ha. let's go back to my cave first before checking my items, there are so many dangers in the wilderness, better off playing safe than sorry, go, 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 destination, home. This time, she did not use, hide, continuously skulking behind the bushes to check what's in front of her and proceeding carefully like before. Instead, she just dashed straight home as fast as she could. But heading back toward the small cave, her decision proved to be deadly this time. Roar! Oh my god! A majestic king of the jungle! A mighty lion was standing right in front of her? Break! Where is the damn brake pedal? Tang Li Shui quickly used her four small furry limbs to stop but it was already too late since she now stood right in front of the lion. Even if she was still a human, standing in front of a lion would still make her freeze in fear and terror. Much less, now that she was only a fox cub as big as a palm. For the current tiny Tang Li Shui, the A. D. U. L. T lion in front of her was three times bigger than a container truck would be to a human, possibly even more. Holy shit. Calm down, Tang Li Shui. Big kitty, good kitty, did you know that when I was a human before I was actually a kitty lover? I often shared my milk with some kitties in the slums, you know? So, for their sake, please spare me this time. Pretty P-W-E-A-A-A-S-E, Tang Li Shui said in her mind while retreating slowly. Roar! The lion kept staring at Tang Li Shui full of vigilance, its majestic pressure, and blood L. U. S. T made it hard for her to breath and her heart was beating so fast that it hurt her chest. The tawny yellow lion also walked toward Tang Li Shui's right side while approaching her slowly. At first, Tang Li Shui did not get why it walked toward her right side so she retreated bit by bit to her left side, but when her back touched a giant tree behind her she understood that this damn lion actually cornered her. Tang Li Shui sighed. So this is my end huh? When I go back to the netherworld again Grandma Meng will certainly fulfill her promise and give me a rich and happy life with a kind handsome prince for my next life, right? Please Uncle Sun, don't mess with my life next time and let me be happy for once, okay? Also, could you give my next reincarnation a system too, please? Roar! The lion pounced toward Tang Li Shui. Even though Tang Li Shui was probably a bit faster than the lion after activating her, 
dash. It was bigger and stronger than her and the lion also cleverly sealed her escape route, her back was against a big tree. There is no escape, dead end. Boom. A great shockwave exploded wave after wave. Even the mighty lion was blasted back a few meters by it and it quickly ran away in fear. Of course, it was not like Tang Li Shui awakened some kind of op-godly skills or something like that. Actually, she ended up no better than the lion, she was almost blasted even farther away than the lion but she quickly tried using her claws to hold onto the giant tree's bark. She still ended up blasted away in a sorry state in the end, but at least she landed in the nearby bushes so she was not hurt that badly. HP. 23 fiftieths, damn. My HP decreased by 27 points in total. Fortunately my max HP has already increased to 50. If my max HP was still 20 like before I might already be dead by now. She had already forgotten that she just stood in front of an A. D. U. L. T lion a few seconds ago and almost entered its stomach. Tang Li Shui quickly checked her surroundings and, after confirming there was no more lion in sight, she sighed in relief and carefully checked the source of that great shockwave. Tang Li Shui's topaz blue eyes brightened as she saw several humans floating above the forest using flying swords as their footing. Are these the famous legendary cultivators? In her previous world, Tang Li Shui only saw cultivators flying on TV or in Manhua. Now they were no longer fictional but real, Tang Li Shui's topaz eyes glinted with determination as she clenched her tiny paw. Someday I will be like them. No, this lady would certainly surpass them and become a fox deity. This seat would never expect that the wise and righteous sect's elders would use such a despicable tactic as ambushing and ganging up against one person. The black-robed young man lazily said as his handsome face smiled coldly. Shut up! You are only a brat from an evil and treacherous sect. You have no right to judge us, the red-robed old man shouted in anger. The black-robed young man squinted his obsidian black eyes and said, there is no need to pretend. This seat knows you got the information about this seat's root from the traitors in this seat's evil and treacherous sect. So in other words you are colluding with the evil and treacherous sect. Is this seat right, Mr. Right and Righteous? His words were full of mockery and disdain. There were ten elders with high-ranked cultivation here and the black-robed man only had his trusted aide by his side. It was obvious that this ambush was planned very carefully and the enemy already knew long ago that he would certainly take this route. The ten elders widened their eyes in surprise. They clearly did not think that this young man had already guessed that there were traitors in his sect's ranks but that did not matter now because the talented young man would certainly die today. He had to die, since if this genius young man grew up, he would surely become a peerless expert in both pen and sword. All ten elders' eyes turned cold and they did not bother to conceal their thick killing intent as they charged at the black-robed young man at the same time. The black-robed young man calmly took out his crimson red sword and his trusted aide also took out his black dual daggers. Die! All the elders were shouting and releasing their martial art skills at the same time. Condensed flame slash, icicle pierce, black tiger claw, earth spike, wind shredder, and more. Ten martial art skills focused on the black-robed man but he only sneered in disdain while slowly raised his fist. Asura King Fist. Boom. Holish T. This time the shockwave would probably be far greater than before. Tang Li Shui, who was still leisurely watching the battle from quite far away, quickly ran to find cover and hid behind a nearby giant tree. All ten elders flew backward a few meters but they quickly stabilized their footing on their flying swords while their faces turned pale for a bit. But at the same time, the black-robed man did not even move an inch. It was ten against one, and it looks like the black-robed man still held a bit of advantage over his opponents. Badass. This is what a man should be. Tang Li Shui's eyes shone with adoration as she quietly admired the handsome black-robed man from behind the giant tree. This is it, now it's my turn. The black-robed man was smiling coldly and slowly raised his blood-red sword. His smile was full of confidence and charm. Even Tang Li Shui went into a daze and was charmed by his smile. Cool, handsome, strong, full marks. Oh, my dreamy man, thought Tang Li Shui as she wiped the drool that dripped from her fox muzzle. Heaven splitting wave. Bang, 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 bang. Five of the elders' bodies exploded like gore-filled balloons in the sky, 
their blood and organs splattering everywhere. But there was no joy in the black-robed man, cough, cough. The black-robed man coughed out a few mouthfuls of blood and slowly turned back while his expression became even frostier. He saw there was a black dagger stabbed into his left shoulder, it looked like the assailant wanted to impale his heart through his back. Why? The black-robed man wanted to ask why he did this but he stopped his words midway and sighed. Yes. The assailant was the black-robed man's aide that stood behind him all this time. This subordinate. Sorry. I was forced. They. They held my family and told me to. The aide tried to explain but the black-robed man did not want to hear what he said anymore. Asura King Fist. Bang. The aide wanted to dodge but he could not since the space around him was already locked down by the black-robed man. The aide's head burst like a watermelon under the black-robed man's fist. No mercy. The black-robed man's action was so decisive that it sent a chill down the spine of all the spectators who saw it, including Tang Li Shui. Cruel and decisive. I like him even more. He is really my type. Truly worthy of being this lady deity candidate's concubine. Tang Li Shui nodded as she sent two thumbs to him in her heart. The black-robed man coughed out a few more mouthfuls of blood after he killed his aide and this time his blood was black. It looked like the black dagger that was stabbed into his back actually had a very lethal poison smeared on it. He, he is poisoned, look, he is dying. Let's give him the killing blow together. One of the remaining five elders shouted and awakened the rest from their days. Kill. Five elders shouted as their eyes turned red, full of killing intent. Meddlesome insects. Scram. The black-robed man said angrily. He spun his blood-colored sword furiously and his sword's color turned even redder. Nine-petal blood lotus. Devour. The black-robed man murmured as his blood-colored sword began to emit intense crimson light and devoured the five elders that were charging towards him. Those close could not see what the intense crimson light's form truly was but Tang Li Shui saw it. Crazy, that nine-petal blood lotus swallowed all those old men in a single moment, not leaving anything behind, all of those old men are pretty strong but that handsome man is truly dominating, Tang Li Shui gasped in shock. Yes, the intense crimson light's true form was the nine-petal blood lotus shadow. After he drew out even more of his strength, the poison inside the black-robed man's body spread even further and his consciousness began to fade away. As the black-robed man passed out, his chi also stopped supplying power to the flying sword under his feet and he began to plunge downward. Oi, 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 you won't die after showing off such a cool performance, right handsome? Tang Li Shui sighed. How could you fulfill your duty as this lady deity candidate's concubine if you die here? Tang Li Shui quickly activated her, dash, skill and ran at full speed toward where the black-robed man fell. Dash skill has increased to LV2. Tang Li Shui carefully approached the black-robed man that was lying still in the nearby bushes. The long, scattered, silky, black hair combined with his pale, white skin was truly a perfect combination, his eyes also had long, black lashes that enhanced his handsomeness to another level. She poked the black-robed man's face a few times with her tiny paw and only relaxed after confirming that the black-robed man was really unconscious. Yuwa. This man is. Super handsome in close up. Shish. Compared to him, the good looking actors and models from Earth are nothing more than pigs. Tang Li Shui wiped her drool with her furry paw and started to inspect whether he was still breathing or not. The black robed man was still alive, albeit barely hanging on by a thread. His wound was pretty bad though, the dagger was stabbed deep inside his back and the poison that had been smeared on it appeared extremely lethal. The blood that gushed out from his back and mouth had turned completely black now. Tang Li Shui put her paw on her chin then started to consider whether to save him or not. Looking at the black-robed man's condition, if she did not help him now, he would certainly die. But even if Tang Li Shui tried to help him, there was no guarantee that she could save him. In the end, if she failed, she would have done this hard, thankless job for nothing. Save him. It will be a waste of heaven's gifts if a guy this handsome dies here after all, Tang Li Shui decided in her heart. Ding. Quest. Samaritan. Cure the handsome human, and restore his health. Difficulty. Hard. Requirement. Identify. And. Herbalism. Skills. Reward. Level plus 3. Skill point plus 3. Stat point plus 9. 
100 deity coins. Time remaining. 0 hours 23 minutes and 46 seconds. What? It needs special skills too. There goes my remaining 2 skill points flying away. Tang Li Shui sighed. There is even a timer now. 23 minutes remaining, damn it. Tang Li Shui tapped her skills window with a heavy heart. She hesitated for a moment and glanced at the pale-faced, black-robed man before she gritted her teeth then used her remaining two skill points to buy the identify and herbalism skills. The identify skill was actually used to identify a beast species, its strengths, weaknesses, and current HP. While the herbalism skill's purpose was to give the user the information to identify herbs and knowledge on their effects. In other words, Tang Li Shui now had the ability to identify what kind of beasts and herbs would be needed to cure the black-robed man. Heart-melting black poison. Description. Extremely lethal poison. Once this black poison enters someone's heart, no matter how high that victim's cultivation is, the victim would certainly die instantly. What a vicious poison, but according to the dagger's position in his back, he should be dead by now. The bulb in Tang Li Shui's mind suddenly lit up as a medical term from her previous world came to mind. Situs inversus. 1. Sai. What a lucky guy. If his heart was positioned normally, this black-robed man would have instantly died under this black poison and that aid would have been the one that survived in the end. However, because the aid stabbed the wrong place, the black-robed man had enough time to seal the black poison with his chi and counter killed his aid. Though now the chi seal was fading away and the black poison had already begun to spread again, but the seal still managed to slow it down and buy Tang Li Shui some time. Handsome, if this lady really saves you later, you must remember that you cannot be ungrateful, okay? Even the prince in that mermaid story knew how to repay the mermaid. Though if you dare to marry another woman, I would bite your little sausage off, Tang Li Shui silently admonished in her mind. She quickly picked a route deeper into the moonlight forest and dashed off. She did not need to worry about leaving the black-robed man alone since the shockwaves from before already scared all the nearby beasts away. Therefore he should be safe for a while. The deeper she went, the denser the undergrowth and trees in the forest became but this was also why Tang Li Shui chose to go deeper. Mystic grass, function, can cure slight fevers, can be used to concoct sleeping drugs. Side effect. Mild dizziness for a few hours, can be neutralized by boiling it in water. So this was the effect of the, herbalism, and, identify, skills? So convenient, with this, it would be easier to find the poison's antidote. But not this herb, red dotted crystal flower, function. Not this one either. Tang Li Shui ran even deeper into moonlight forest and wasted more than 10 minutes of the time limit but she still could not manage to find anything useful. Moonlight Forest was simply too vast. Even if she explored it for tens of years, she still would not manage to comb through it all. Time remaining. 0 hours 12 minutes and 24 seconds. What to do? What to do? This is a waste of time. I would not be able to find anything even if I had a few days if I just search blindly depending on my luck like this. Dash skill has increased to LV3. Tang Li Shui was panting and out of breath after using Dash continuously for the last 10 minutes so she decided to take a breath and think wait luck tang li shui took the lucky sticker item out of her inventory authors note one situs inversus is a genetic condition in which the organs in the chest and abdomen are positioned in a mirror image from their normal positions for example the left atrium of the heart and the left lung are positioned on the body's right side lucky sticker description Enhances the user's luck for 10 minutes. Tang Li Shui was actually quite pessimistic about this sticker, but since she got it from the system, she decided to try it anyway. How'd I use this thing? Just stick it on my body. Tang Li Shui used her tiny paw and stuck the lucky sticker on her fluffy chest. Lucky buff duration 0 hours 10 minutes and 0 seconds. Tang Li Shui waited for a few more seconds, but nothing happened. She could only say a few curse words in disappointment before running around again to find an antidote herb. Bang! Oh no! Tang Li Shui was running so fast while checking nearby grasses and flowers that she did not realize there was a small hole in the ground. Usually, the bigger beasts would only stumble on this hole but Tang Li Shui's body was so small that she ended up plunging deep inside the small hole. Ouch! Ouch! It hurts! 
Unfortunately, the ground inside the hole was slanted downwards so Tang Li Shui only tumbled to the bottom instead of dropping down directly. HP, 15 fiftieths, so close, if it was a chasm instead of a slope I would have died by now. Tang Li Shui once again angrily cursed the lucky ticket in her heart furiously, but when she saw what was in front of her. Seven colored star grass, function, miraculous herb that can strengthen the body, neutralize all poisons, and cleanse the body. Side effect, mild numbing effect on the whole body for a few hours. This, this, is this the power of luck, so amazing? Oh wait, I have no time for daydream, go fast, time remaining. 0 hours 9 minutes and 2 seconds. Tang Li Shui nimbly bit off a few stalks of seven colored star grass, then dashed back up the slope and out of the hole. She had taken more than 10 minutes to get from where the black robed man was to get to the hole, but she only needed 7 minutes to return since this time she did not need to check all the herbs and flowers on the way back. Time remaining 0 hours 1 minute and 39 seconds. Tang Li Shui was panting crazily and her mind felt fuzzy because of exhaustion, but at least her dash skill managed to level up to 4 because of this. Now what to do? Should I feed him this grass? Or should I crush the grass and smear it on where the black dagger stabbed him? Arg, there is no time, I should pull the black dagger out first. At first, she was afraid that the black robed man's blood would gush out crazily if she pulled it out and he would die because of blood loss. But now, screw it, who cares, he will die if I don't pull the black dagger out and neutralize the poison in less than a minute anyway. Tang Li Shui bit the black dagger by the handle but that left her small furry body hanging in the air, the situation would actually be really comical looking if it weren't so serious. Since I cannot pull it out then I will drag it down, Tang Li Shui swung her body back and forth like a pendulum then. Pissed. The black blood was really gushing out profusely when Tang Li Shui managed to pull the black dagger out from the black robed man's back. Oh, PPSSS, bad news. She quickly threw the black dagger aside and chewed seven colored star grass for a few seconds before she accidentally swallowed some. Strength plus one, toughness plus one. Oh, damn. This miracle herb is really good stuff. Such a shame to use it on a sick person. Oops. Now is not the time for this, again. Chew it slower this time and be sure not to swallow it. After chewing it into mush she spat it out and smeared it on the black wound where the dagger had been stabbed before. Time remaining. 0 hours 0 minutes and 41 seconds. Seeing the timer still counting down, Tang Li Shui quickly chewed another stalk of seven colored star grass, once again carefully, then spat it out and stuffed it into the black robed man's mouth. E. Isn't this an indirect kiss? Handsome, you must remember to take responsibility and become this lady's concubine when you recover later. Tang Li Shui also remembered that she had 3x recovery pill in her system inventory so she took one out and stuffed it in the black robed man's mouth as well. With that, she had already done what she could to save him so she stopped attending to the black robed man's wound and stared painfully at the single leftover stock of seven colored star grass. Only one remaining, Sai, is there any way to breed it? It looks like after this man's condition has stabilized I will need to go back to that hole and search if there is any remaining, seven colored stargrass, in there. Quest completed. Reward. Level plus 3, skill point plus 3, stat point plus 9, 100 deity coins. Gained a title, Samaritan, Samaritan. When this title is equipped, each time the host completes a quest. The reward will be increased by 25%. Whoa, a title? Increase the reward by 25%? More good stuff? Ding, congratulations. You achieved level 6, plus 1 5 stat points, plus 3 skill points. Congratulations. You have reached level 6, first evolution menu available. What? I, I can evolve already now. I thought I must go step by step and cultivate for tens of thousands of years to reach human form like Bai Sujun, 1. Author's Note 1. The Legend of White Snake's Heroine. Okay, okay, calm down, Li Tang Shui. Pui, I mean Tang Li Shui. No hurry, no hurry, let's check it first. 
Tang Li Shui checked the black robed man conditions first and she sighed in relief when she saw his blood already turned back to crimson red and his pale face also turned rosier. His wound already began to closing. This is clearly not seven colored star grass effect since it's not mentioned about healing so this must be the effect of my recovery pill. Tang Li Shui baffled and found it really hard to believe that all the items from the system were actually so heaven defying. She used the lucky sticker and manages to find the seven colored star grass in a few seconds. The recovery pill that could recover the black robed man lethal injury in a few seconds. I must use the remaining two really carefully since it's a crucial item for survival. Let's check the other items first then. Tang Li Shui had 160 deity coins now in her inventory but she still had no clue on how to use it so she decided to leave it for now. Tang Li Shui took out the cultivation voucher and tried to use it but required Dantian to start cultivation, another item she cannot use. Tang Li Shui started to feel vexed, she took out another. This time she took out the bronze lottery ticket and tried to use it. The bronze wheel of fate started to spinning. Oh, it's really a lottery? There were countless prizes written on the wheel but it kept spinning past it so quickly. Level plus 1 to plus 3. Skill point plus 1 to plus 3. Stat point plus 1 to plus 10. The wheel started to slow down. Recovery pill. Antidote pill. Berserk pill. Come on. Come on. Just let me get another lucky sticker and I will be satisfied. As a person who has countless misfortunes in her past life, Tang Li Shui had severe mental scars about it so she would feel much safer if she could hold a holy item of luck like, lucky ticket, as insurance. At least, if things were starting to go south, she still has a trump card that could be used to repel the bad luck away. The wheel almost stopped. Lucky sticker. Yes. Yes. Stop. 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 The wheel finally stopped. Congratulation. You got 1x, bad luck sticker, from the bronze wheel of fate. Tang Li Shui's heart dropped down from heaven to hell when she got her notification. Bad, bad, who is bad luck? You are bad luck, your whole family are bad luck. Tang Li Shui still fuming with rage so she decided not to check the bad luck sticker at all and let it rot at the corner of her inventory. Two times express card, one hour, was so easy to understand. It doubles the express for one hour so Tang Li Shui decided to leave it for later and active it only when she piled enough food for her to eat it non-stop for one hour. Tisk. I am so smart. Next, Immortal World's newbie guide, was even easier to understand. Basically, it was an encyclopedia about all things about this immortal world, such as history, geography, powerhouse, cultivation level, beast, famous hero's biography, dangerous villain ranking, etc. There were too many information written in it. Tang Li Shui felt her mind would be fried inside out if she read it all so she decided to read only the crucial information for her. Let's read about beast then. I am a beast now anyway. I will leave the rest for after I reach my human form later. Even information about beasts was too broad so Tang Li Shui decided to only read the basic information about it. The basic knowledge about beast. The beast in the immortal world divided into three stages savage beast, demonic beast, and spirit beast. However, these stages were actually too broad and hard to implement. For example, rabbit and tiger were actually classified as the same stage, savage beast, even though their strengths difference actually like heaven and earth. That was why the system using the grading system from the divine world. In the divine world, there were 12 grades of beasts and far more accurate than the immortal world's three stages. In the Savage Beast stage, the Divine World classified the Rabbit class strength as poor, grade and common, grade for Tiger class strength. The Demonic Beast was vastly superior to the Savage Beast. They were way smarter and far stronger too. While the Savage Beast impossible to threaten the cultivators, the Demonic Beast was actually strong enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the cultivators and could use their myriad of skills to even kill weaker cultivators. The Divine World classified the weaker demonic beast in uncommon grade and the stronger one in rare grade. After 10,000 years or more passed, some demonic beasts have a very small chance to evolve even further and they were what called spirit beast in a mortal world. 
The spirit beast had a very high level of intelligence and perhaps they were even smarter than humans. When demonic beast evolved into spirit beast, they will be given two choices. Stay in their current form or gain human form. Human form. So I must reach spirit beast to gain human form? Tang Li Shui expression turned solemn as her heart beating faster and her eyes full of yearning. If spirit beast chose to stay in their current form, they will gain spirit baptism and their bodies would be transformed and become so strong that it became impervious to blade, fire, or water. However, humanity was actually the most afraid of the second one. When the spirit beast chose to gain human form, they will lose all their power temporarily but as a new human, they would have a dantian and they could cultivating like a normal human now but their potential actually far more fearsome than even genius humans. But what the most frightening was when they reach a certain level in their cultivation, their dormant power as spirit beast's strength would awaken. The spirit beast's strength, humans' martial art and cultivation, they would have both of them, just how fearsome they would be. Unfortunately, most of them were usually killed by humans when still in the growing phase. The divine world graded the spirit beasts into two grades too, the new weaker one called, epic, grade while the stronger and mature one classified as, ancient, grade. The spirit beasts were the pinnacle of existence in a mortal world, if the spirit beast wanted to become stronger and evolve further, they must ascend to divine world and search for their own opportunity. To be continue at intermediate guide, that's it, poor, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and, ancient, only six, aren't there twelve in totals, where is the rest, this guide is really trying to kill me with curiosity. Tang Li Shui closed the guide angrily and threw it back to the system inventory. Well, according to this guide, I must evolve four times to reach, epic, grade and regain my human form. Still have a long way I guess. But I managed to reach my first evolution in one day. Buahahaha. Only three more times, piece of cake. The last is this thing. Level 5 novice gift package. Hopefully, I get more good items. Open, gained. 1 by 2 times express card. 1 hour, 5x recovery pill. 5x stamina pill. 1x greater lucky sticker. 1x silver lottery ticket. 250 deity coins. Level 10 beginner gift package. God bless me. I. I got one more lucky sticker and there is, greater, word on it so it must be more powerful? There was nothing new other than, stamina pill. Just from its name Tang Li Shui could already guess its effect was to restore stamina but do not look down on it since this pill will be extremely useful like if she got chased and did not have any time to rest. As for, silver lottery ticket, Tang Li Shui knew that her luck has never been good so she decided to use it at the same time when she activated, greater lucky sticker, later for optimum result. However, Tang Li Shui already determined to only use, greater lucky sticker, if she was really in critical condition and she has no other way out. Okay, that's it for my items. Now for my evolution. No, 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 not now, not here. In whether novel, anime, or movie, evolution always accompanied by the large commotion and ended up with great exhaustion then passed out so the first thing she must do was to find a safe place to undergo her evolution process. I should find a safe place first but this big baggage is a really huge burden on my shoulders, sigh. Tang Li Shui kicked the black robed man lightly in annoyance. What made her the most frustrated was that she did not have enough strength to move the black robed man away so she cannot bring him to the safe place with her and could only guard by his side like this. Don't have enough strength, should I really use my remaining free stat points and put it into, wait, strength. Isn't, seven colored star grass, could increase strength, that's it? Tang Li Shui checked the black robed man once more, after making sure that he was recovering well, she dashed back toward the deeper part of moonlight forest where the hole was. Handsome, please hang on for a few minutes. Please don't get eaten by a lion before I come back. Well, if the lion really comes, it would be futile even if I guarding by your side. Nyahahaha. More or less one hour has already passed from when the black robed man deathly battle and there was a chance for the lion that ran scared earlier would come back. Tang Li Shui met with several small animals on her ways like squirrels or snake but she did not waste any time with them and quickly entered back in the dark small hole. Seven colored star grass. Where are you, come to mommy Tang. The hole was dark and quite small only at the size of the palm but there are many branches like complicated tunnels. 
After searching up and down for half an hour, Tang Li Shui only managed to find several stalks of seven colored star grass. Tang Li Shui sat near the hole entrance while staring at the several stalks of seven colored star grass and sighed in disappointment. Only this pitiful amount, sigh. I really expect it too much. Well, I found a hole, not a herb garden after all, haha. Ha. However, Tang Li Shui did not know how hard to grow seven colored star grass was. Seven colored star grass was a unique miracle herb. The method to raise it was to bath it with starlight at night daily every day without miss it even one day. Moreover, seven colored star grass cannot be touched by sunlight even once or it would instantly wilt and die. So the chance of finding the wild, seven colored star grass was actually extremely minuscule. It was unknown how many luck that Tang Li Shui's have to find these several stalks of seven colored star grass. Well, actually, if Lucky Sticker S buff was still in effect, maybe she would really find a lot more of it. Tang Li Shui started eating seven colored star grass, slowly one by one while carefully savoring its taste. The seven colored star grass was actually tasteless, but the cooling sensation that entered her mouth to her throat really made Tang Li Shui addicted. Her body started to feel warm as a numb sensation began to spread around her limbs. Strength plus one, toughness plus one, strength plus one, toughness plus one. Strength plus one, toughness plus one, good stuff. Tang Li Shui said in satisfaction after eating all seven colored star grass cleanly. She lied down lazily with her bloating stomach while started to daydreaming. Now I know why Uncle Sun likes to steal food from Celestial Palace. The food there, SSSS's, must be much more delicious and contain tons of express. Tang Li Shui started to drool again while imagining all of those Shi Wang Emu's peaches of immortality, Lao Tzu's pills of longevity, and the Jade Emperor's royal wine are certainly very delicious and rich of express. Suddenly hit by a realization, Tang Li Shui suddenly sat and put her tiny paw on her chin to ponder. What if? Just what if Uncle Sun was actually a normal monkey at first and he used this system to evolve into an almighty stone monkey in the end? Not impossible, right? That's why he always stole and ate all the good stuff in Celestial Palace. If I can go to Celestial Palace, I too would probably do the same thing and jump to reach deity rank faster. And, since Uncle Sun already stood at the peak now, he did not need this system anymore so that was why he gave it to me as compensation. Tang Li Shui shook her furry head and decided to forget it since it did not matter anymore now. Her first aim was to get her human form back first. As for Celestial Palace and Deity Rank, it was still too far from her for now. After digested her food, Tang Li Shui decided to check her current status first. Species. Fox Cub. Grade. Poor. Level 6. Samaritan. Cultivation Technique. None Martial Arts. None Divine Ability none stats hp 332 355 strength 18 agility 15 toughness 14 skills bite lv4 scratch lv2 hide lv4 dash lv5 identify lv3 herbalism lv3 stat point 24 skill point 6 item Immortal World's Newbie Guide. 2 by 2 times Express Card. 1 hour. 7x Recovery Pill. 5x Stamina Pill. 1x Bad Luck Sticker. 1x Greater Lucky Sticker. 1x Silver Lottery Ticket. 1x Cultivation Voucher. 410 Deity Coins. Level 10 Beginner Gift Package. Damn. I am a lot stronger now. Even her strength surpassed her main stat, Agility. Some of her skills even leveled up without her realizing it before. Tang Li Shui decided to save all her stat points and skill points for later use. Tang Li Shui dashed out from the small hole and headed back to where the black robed man was. She realized that toughness status actually affected not only her HP amount and her defense but also her stamina endurance. While agility was actually affected her movement speed, attack speed, reflexes, and body flexibility. Then, strength, is it only affected her power? She still did not know much about it but there is still a lot of time, she could research it slowly later. After arriving at the place where the black-robed man was, 
Tang Li Shui did not drop her vigilance and started to scan her surroundings. Tang Li Shui bit the black-robed man's collar and started to drag him toward the cave where she first woke up. So H-E-A-A-A-A-V-Y. Er, handsome, if you regain your consciousness later, the first thing you must do is to thank me, really, if not I would bite your neck off, and also don't forget to reimburse my kindness to you later. Fortunately, the black-robed man's clothes were really resilient. Tang Li Shui did not know what it was made from, but she was really sure that his clothes are very expensive. Tang Li Shui was dragging black-robed man really roughly and his head hits the stones on the way several times. Fortunately, black-robed man has very high cultivation so his body was really sturdy if not, the black-robed man's head would already bleeding furiously on the way and died. Shut up, I am a fox baby. Okay, it's already a miracle I can save him. Well, I just hope he doesn't have amnesia later. Tang Li Shui did not know to whom she was angry but she managed to drag the black-robed man into the cave in the end after a lot of effort. Tang Li Shui lied down on the cave's cold floor and panted crazily. Even with her enhanced, toughness, it was still a too difficult task for her to drag an A. D. U. L. T. Human with her tiny palm-sized body. SSSSSSH. Damn. Now the long-awaited evolution time has finally come. Tang Li Shui impatiently rubbed her tiny furry paws then opened the evolution window. At the first evolution list, there was only regular kind of foxes. Red fox, gray fox, phoenix fox. Only this, I mean, aren't this only regular one that even appears on earth? I want the strong one like nine-tailed fox in anime. Tang Li Shui squinted her eyes in disappointment. She knew that the first evolution would have no godlike transformation path like that but at the very least it should have something more off. Tang Li Shui scrolled down the evolution window. There was countless kind of foxes name but the lower she scrolled down the rarer the type of the foxes and there was even the requirement for the evolution. Swift Fox, Rec. Agility equals 15. Ripper Fox, Rec. Strength equals 15. Agility equals 20. Snow Fox, Rec. Agility equals 20. Toughness equals 15. Berserk Fox. Rec. Strength equals 20. Toughness equals 15. EH. There are some requirements for the evolution now. Hum. Looks like these types of foxes are more formidable than the one in the upper list. Since it's like that then I will choose the one with the highest requirement. It should be the most off. After search the list up and down, Tang Li Shui managed to find some type of foxes with the highest requirement. She began to ponder which one she should choose. This first evolution. I am afraid it's quite important and probably would determine the future evolution path. So I must choose carefully. Shadow Fox, Rec. Strength equals 15. Agility equals 40. Toughness equals 15. Could only evolve in the darkest place. Moon Fox, Rec. Strength equals 20. Agility equals 30. Toughness equals 20 could only evolve under the moonlight bath. Blazing Fox, Rec. Strength equals 40. Agility equals 30. Could only evolve in the hot environment. Glacial Fox, Rec. Agility equals 35. Toughness equals 30. Could only evolve in the cold environment. What a headache. All four sounds badass. Which one should I choose? Okay. Calm down, Li Tang Shui. I mean Tang Li Shui. Think. Which one is the best? Should I roll a dice to determine it? Fortunately, I still save all of those stat points lately. If I used it immediately each time I leveling up, I would already be screwed up right now. Since she cannot find hot and cold place in this moonlight forest, she immediately passed the glacial fox and blazing fox, leaving only shadow fox and moon fox as her choice. Moonlight forest. Moon fox. Maybe. Just maybe that this is fate, then I will choose Moon Fox. I really like Sailor Moon anyway. Haha. <laughs> like Uncle Sun known as Monkey King from Mount Wagwo, I would be known as Fox Queen from Moonlight Forest in the future, Bawahahaha. <laughs> Tang Li Shui put two of her free stat points to strength and increase it to 20 then 6 stat points into, toughness, stat to make it 22. She put the rest 16 of her stat points into agility increase it to 31. Now she only needs moonlight to start her first evolution. 
It was still evening right now so Tang Li Shui must wait until night for moon come out so she could begin her evolution process. Tang Li Shui sat on the mouth cave and gazing at the sunset for a few hours until night came. Her luck was quite good and the moon shone really bright tonight. It's time. Fua, it's quite excited when I chose it before. But this last moment is really nerve-wracking now. It was not a game after all where she only needs to push a button and, bam, evolution finish. This is real life. Tang Li Shui thought many things in this few hours, like. Will I in great pain while in evolution process? Can I give up in the middle of the evolution process and cancel it? What happens if the process failed in the midway? Will there be any danger with my life in the process? Would I die if the process really fails? Will I go back to the netherworld and meet Grandma Meng again? Tang Li Shui shook her furry head to drive away all of the unnecessary thoughts. She walked to the poolside and sat there then chose, Moon Fox. Option in the evolution list. Fua, here goes nothing. Here I come. Tang Li Shui's body started to shine silvery light and absorbs the surrounding moonlight. E-H. Ouch. 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 What? What is this sensation? Uck. Well. Tang Li Shui actually not feels any pain right now but she suddenly understood that maybe the great pain was actually a better choice. Itch. Tang Li Shui feels extreme itch encroaching her whole tiny body and she started to curse. What was more unbelievable that she was currently cursing non-stop without any repetition in her words at all in her mind? God just kill me already. Damn fucker system why there is no option to turn off my pain receptor. No, I mean itch receptor. Silvery light on Tang Li Shui's body became more and more brighter while her surroundings became even more darker. In a few minutes, the moonlight stopped shining on the surrounding environment and shrunk to only shining at Tang Li Shui's body and on the ground where she stood up. Her body also started to grow little by little under the moonlight intense nourishment while Tang Li Shui still busily rolling around everywhere and cursing non-stop to ease the extreme itches on her body. As the moonlight that shone on Tang Li Shui become more and more intense, it started to form a tiny spark of silver light like silver fireflies. At first, it was only one spark then it increased to tens of them, slowly rise to hundreds of them and in only half an hour there are countless of them swarming around Tang Li Shui's body covering up her entire body. Avu, I so itch, if I could choose I would rather choose extreme pain over this, at least. I could lose consciousness over pain but it's impossible to lose consciousness over itch. Tang Li Shui still rolling on the ground while twisting her body right and left to reduce the itchiness but rather than reduced the itchiness became even more terrifying instead. While Tang Li Shui still busying herself to overcome her itchiness, the silver spark keeps increasing steadily and now it began to form a silver giant pillar that connecting the moon with Tang Li Shui. Rumble, rumble, rumble. No one knew what really happened but the ground started to shake violently and the giant pillar made from countless silver sparks also become even brighter that it stung every creature's eyes that see it. As the silver giant pillar shone even brighter, it also turned even more solid like a real pillar made from silver. Bang! The silver giant pillar exploded into countless tiny fragments like a glass and all of it flew toward Tang Li Shui then entered her body. Tang Li Shui also felt that her itchiness started to decrease at a rapid pace and her heart jumped in relief and happiness. In the end, when all the tiny fragments successfully entered her body, her itchiness also completely disappears. Ayu, so comfortable, ha, huh? Fua, it feels really good to be alive, so tired. Tang Li Shui slowly stood up, she felt extremely tired but her body feels so light and full of strength. She walked to the nearby pool and used its reflection to look at her current form. Her body already grew from a fox cub as big as a palm into an A, D, U, L, T cat size. Her fox body looks slender and noble but full of strength, all of her muscles felt more flexible and sturdier now. Beautiful and full of dignity, really a form that suited with this glorious fox queen, in the near future of course. However, her unique characteristic, her mesmerizing blue topaz eyes did not disappear at all. On the contrary, it became even more enchanting than before. Tang Yi Shui nodded her head in satisfaction and glanced at her new form a few more times. After she got bored with it, she gets even sleepier so she quickly entered the dark cave to sleep. There is a warm and comfortable bed tonight, better use it rather than let it waste. I am not an innocent, girl, anymore anyway, but of course, 
I am still an innocent, female fox, now. Tang Yi Shui jumped to the top of the black robed man's warm body. She yawned then lay down comfortably on him. Ah, so cozy and warm, like a warming pillow, good night. The warm morning sunlight entered from the cave's entrance. Tang Li Shui's body twitched a bit as her consciousness started to clear up. She slowly opened her topaz blue eyes and yawned lazily then stretched her body around like a lazy cat. Oh yes, I remember, yesterday I just finished my first evolution. Tang Li Shui lied down once again on her cozy, comfortable, and warm bed, then started to check her new status. Species. Moon Fox. Grade. Common. Level 1. Samaritan. Cultivation Technique. None Martial Arts. None Divine Ability. Mirror of the Moon. Stats. HP. 1800-1800 Strength. 60 Agility. 93. Toughness. 60. Skills. Bite. LV4. Scratch. LV2. Hide. LV4. Dash. LV5. Identify. LV3. Herbalism. LV3. Stat point. 15 skill point. 9. Item. Immortal World's Newbie Guide. 2 by 2 times express card. 1 hour. 7x recovery pill. 5x stamina pill. 1x bad luck sticker. 1x greater lucky sticker. 1x silver lottery ticket. 1x cultivation voucher. 410 deity coins. Level 10 beginner gift package. Her HP and stats jumped up three times from before along with the free stat points and skill points that she would gain each level up but Tang Li Shui's attention was not on that right now. What the hell is that? Divine ability? Tang Li Shui's mind exploded and she feels like struck by the lightning when she read it. She started to breathe heavily as she quickly checked her new divine ability's power. Mirror of the Moon User can copy one of any skill, divine ability, martial art that the user sees from any foe, ally. Note 1. The previous one would be erased if the user copy more than one skill, divine ability, martial art and only the latest one would be saved. Note 2. The skill, divine ability, martial art that the user copy would be strengthened, weakened according to user current strength, stats. Can copy any skill, divine ability, or martial art, wuwa, amazing, so off? Tang Li Shui eyes almost fell out from its socket and she started to roll around on the top of her cozy warm bed, in happiness. She was so excited that she almost fainted again. Moreover, what was said in, note two feet really made Tang Li Shui even more excited. Aren't that mean the skill that I copy can grow alongside with my stats? Of course, it was also mean if the skill she copy was too powerful. The skill would be greatly weakened and adjusted with her current stats too but Tang Li Shui accepted that easily since if the skill was far too powerful, it would usually hurt or even kill the user along with his, her enemy in the end if they used it. Tang Li Shui always fights only for her own survival and not to kill her enemy so she happily accepts it. Unfortunately, I can only copy one. Sigh, if I can copy as many as I like, how good it would be. This was always the case of human being even after awakened such a powerful op skill they still wanted it to become even more powerful. Or maybe the case of fox being now. While Tang Li Shui lied down happily and imagining how she would use her divine ability to copy an OP godlike skill or divine ability, the black robed man's finger that still lied down beneath her started to twitch. As his blurred awareness started to clear up, he slowly opened his eyes. His gaze was so cold and full of killing intent like a brutal demon that just crawled out from the hell. His strong arm moved at incredible speed faster than lightning and held the silver fox's neck that still lied lazily on the top of his body. The silver fox did not even have any strength to struggle as the black-robed man's strength was far too strong. The black-robed man swiftly stood up while gathered all of his profound dense chi in his body ready to attack anyone that he saw. The temperature around the dim cave began to decrease as the black-robed man thick killing aura slowly filled the cave chilling Tang Li Shui's spine. Yurg, die, I am really going to die, hrrrk, hrrrk, can't, can't breathe. Tang Li Shui started to really regret her reckless decision to save this cruel thankless demon. Ayesh, unfortunately, it's too late to regret it, sorry uncle son, I have wasted your precious system. Grandma Meng. Here I come again. 
Please do not make any mistake this time and give me the real happy life with a handsome rich prince. The black robed man scanned his surroundings for a while and did not find anything suspicious but he still did not drop his guard and on the contrary, he raised it even more. However, he quickly aware that the lethal wound on his back did not hurt anymore and used his other hand to try to touch it directly only to find his wound already completely vanished. The black robed man sighed in relief since according to his judgment, his wound should be really life-threatening if he did not treat it soon, he would certainly die. Then he started to realize that some people maybe accidentally found him when he's still unconscious then help neutralize his deadly poison and heal his wound completely using some kind of special power since if he was in the hand of his enemy instead, they would not do anything troublesome like that and kill him immediately without hesitation. The position of the sunlight showed to him that now still in the morning time, the black robed man planned to wait for his helper to come back to this cave and he would thank them properly then reward them generously if possible. The black robed man sat back down on the ground and realized that he's still holding a furry creature in his hand. He examined it for a while and found out that the furry creature actually a beautiful silver fox but its eyes already started to roll back and its mouth started frothing. Hum, this seat never sees a fox's fur as beautiful and soft as this. Could it be you who helped this seat? The black robed man shook his head while laughing and mocking at himself silly. How could a savage beast without any intelligence have the ability to heal him? But out of his expectation, the silver fox in his hand started to nod its head furiously like a woodpecker. The black robed man surprised and loosened his hand out of reflexes but the limp Tang Li Shui would not let this chance for survival pass. She quickly wiggled out from the black robed man's evil clutch and gave his palm a ruthless, bite, will all of her strength then she swiftly jumped backward to create some distance with the black robed man. Tang Li Shui was surprised to find that her, bite, with all of her strength failed to injure the black robed man's palm and only leave some teeth mark on it. Grr, Tang Li Shui bared her sharp fangs toward him. Actually, all of this was really not the black robed man's fault. Imagine if the moment you woke up from your sleep to find an unknown furry savage beast lied on the top of you, what will you do? I still thought that what the black robed man's do still quite kind and reasonable, if it was me. I would probably smack it away with all of my strength and turn it into a meat paste. Shut up, I don't want to hear it, I am really angry, full of hate, I want to choke him back, I want revenge, girl. So narrow-minded, but the black robed man ignored Tang Li Shui angry expression and still stunned by what happened in front of him. Even Tang Li Shui's angry expression surprised him so much. Because her expression was too human-like, and she could also understand human language? Even the smartest demonic beast would never have intelligence this high. You, are you really a savage beast? Impossible. How could you be so intelligent? Are you a spirit beast in disguise? The black robed man asked full of curiosity. Tang Li Shui quickly sticking out her tongue to mock him then threw her face toward another direction arrogantly while making, hump sound. The black robed man became even more dumbfounded as he started to check Tang Li Shui more carefully. However, from the aura Tang Li Shui's emitting the black robed man was really sure that she's a true savage beast. Not even a demonic beast. Maybe because of some special mutation happened to it, this is a miracle, to think that it has human level intelligence when in savage beast stage, if it really evolves to demonic beast later how smart it would become, and if it becomes a spirit beast, immeasurable, the black robed man said in awe. Tang Li Shui put an arrogant expression while looking down at him as if she said, now you know how amazing this lady is, it's too late for you to apologize now. The black robed man let out, pfffft, sound and started to laugh out loud uncontrollably. Tang Li Shui did not know that this may be the first time for this, Asura prince, laughing without holding anything back in 20 years of his life. The black robed man waved his sleeve and Tang Li Shui's body flew by itself toward him. She did not even have any strength to resist his will. Yaa, you are still so young and tiny but your guts are really so big to dare to bite this seat's hand. Looks like this seat will need to punish you a little, the black robed man chuckled mischievously. When Tang Li Shui saw his naughty handsome face, she felt a really bad feeling surged from her heart, run. Where do you want to go? This seat really wants to see how manly you are down there to acting so arrogant? Maybe this seat needs to castrate you first before this seat brings you back to sect. Ha 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 ha, the black robed man said while keeps laughing. 
However, the black-robed man's strength was really too strong whatever Tang Li Shui's do. She still could not escape from his strong clutches. He really did like this cute little silver fox. Moreover, this fox already saved his life before even though he did not know how this silver fox did that but he believes it. Although he had already touched countless foxes fur before, he could sense that the little thing was very special. Normally, no matter how gorgeous or colorful a fox's fur were, its fur shouldn't be this soft, yet caressing this little thing felt as if he was stroking a piece of silk, and was extremely comfortable. Furthermore, it felt so soft and pliable as if it were boneless. Although it was still rather tiny, but no matter where he touched it, it felt soft and meaty. Tang Li Shui already grew a bit but her form was still too adorable like a little cat. The black-robed man held Tang Li Shui's body with one of his hands then used his other one to open her legs. G-U-A-R-H, sexual harassment, release me, you pervert, rapist, help. He was laughing even louder and said, Y-A-A-A, you are a female fox, still a little girl yet you are so smug and arrogant, ha ha ha, from now on, this seat will teach you how to behave properly. Sniff, sniff, I am not pure anymore, I, I can't marry anymore, handsome, you must promise to take full responsibility and become one of this lady's concubine. Hum, you need a name, okay, from now on, I shall call you Xiao Bai. How about it? Are you happy that you already have a name, Xiao Bai? The black-robed man still smiling happily like a child that got a new friend but his clutch still pushed Tang Li Shui's down made her cannot move while his other hand started to caress her fur gently. Xiao Bai your head. You are Xiao Bai. Your whole family is Xiao Bai. Tang Li Shui was staring at the black-robed man with ridicule, disgust, condemn, and anger in her eyes. The black-robed man started to laugh once again when he saw how Tang Li Shui's behave. The more she acted like that the more he likes to tease her. Xiao Bai, the black-robed name started to call Tang Li Shui with that name again and again. FCK, then from now on, your name shall be Xiao Hei. Xiao Bai, Xiao Hei, Xiao Bai, Xiao Hei. After teasing Tang Li Shui for another 10 minutes, Xiao Hei decided to let her off and release her from his clutch. Well, let's just call him, Xiao Hei, for now since we still did not know his real name and it nicer to hear than, black robed man. Tang Li Shui once again tried to, bite, his hand but she failed again to leave any wound on it and only managed to leave some teeth mark. This time Tang Li Shui chose smarter option and ran out from the cave as fast as she can after stole some bite. Xiao Hei shook his head with a gentle smile on his face while staring at the smug silver fox figure that heading back into the forest. She did not even forget to shake her butt to mock him before entering the bushes. He laughed once more when he remembers how that cocky little fox acted. When Tang Li Shui vanished from his sight, Xiao Hei sat cross-legged in lotus position back in the dark cave but the gentle smile on his face disappeared completely replaced with his cold unfeeling expression full of killing intent. To think that old fart even got Feng Yi, the aide, to act for him, looks like he really gets more and more impatient to get rid of me. Xiao Hei clenched his fist harder while said in a chilling voice full of hatred. Xiao Hei exhaled and decided to push his entire problem aside for now. He expended most of his Asura Qi in yesterday fight. Moreover, he also used the rest of his Asura Qi to seal the lethal black poison in the last moment before he fell unconscious so the lethal black poison did not spread to his other inner organ. Now he needs to replenish his currently exhausted Asura Chi as fast as he can before his enemies came to kill him again. He also needs to head back to his Asura demon sect soon before the situation over there deteriorates even more. Xiao Hei closed his eyes, he started to concentrate on circulating his Asura King's cultivation manual and his Asura Chi slowly restored back. Tang Li Shui sighed in relief after managed to escape from Xiao Hei's evil clutch and started to curse him in her mind. Damn, really, did I find the courage to save such a demon like him before, my head must be kicked by a donkey before. Sigh, so hungry, let's go find some morning snack to eat first. Tang Li Shui dashed toward the area where she finds a few hairs before and she find her speed soaring to an unbelievable level even without using, dash, skill but she still use it though since not only it can make her reach that place faster, she could also level up the skill. Her agility stat was 93 and it also means she could move 9 times faster than before she evolved. If, dash, 
skill added to the calculation then she could move 18 times faster. Of course, it was only compared to normal humans, not cultivator, at the very least her speed was already comparable to low-ranked demonic beast. Tang Li Shui felt that her appetite also grow bigger along with her body, she managed to hunt and ate four hairs until she felt full. She also managed to realize two crucial things. The first thing was about quest. To trigger the quest, she only needs to be determined to do something like, eating rabbit. But the quest will never trigger twice on the same task. The reward would be determined by the system according to the difficulty of the quest. The second thing was about the express she got from eating. She managed to level up from 1 to 2 only by eating one hair before. So logically since her level went back to level 1 after evolution, she also only needs to eat one hair to level up to two but now after eating four hairs she's still at level one, why? Certainly, she still got notification, express gained, when eating the four hairs but according to Tang Li Shui guess, the express she gained was actually a lot of less, near negligible since the hair is only, poor, grade while she already evolved to, common, grade. Tang Li Shui had a big headache now, should she start to hunt a, common, grade savage beast to level up? like a tiger or lion? But as a former human, Tang Li Shui still had a mental barrier to hunt a ferocious wild beast like a tiger or lion. Well, she was not an Amazonist in her previous life after all, which modern woman ever trying to hunt a tiger or lion? Sai, Fua, here goes nothing. Tang Li Shui, you are an almighty future fox queen of Moonlight Forest. A common, great creature like a tiger or lion is nothing in your eyes. Ding. Quest. True king of jungle. Kill a common grade beast and eat it. Reward. Level plus one, stat point plus one five, plus four, skill point plus three, plus one, thirty deity coins, plus eight. EH, there is some bonus reward. So this is Samaritan, titles use. But really 25% is too little, isn't it? What a cheapskate. At least it should give me a 100% or 200% bonus reward. Again, our heroine's acute greed syndrome was getting more and more severe. Unfortunately, no doctor can cure her disease so let's just ignore it for now. Tang Li Shui started to patrol around the forest where she met the lion yesterday but she still did not manage to find anything after spending an hour. Russell, 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 Tang Li Shui noticed that the nearby bushes started to shake violently. E.H. What's there? Something is moving over there, and it's something big. Is it the lion? Or a tiger? Maybe a deer? Whatever, I should check it out first. Tang Li Shui jumped agilely around, passing the thick bushes easily. She already getting more adapted with her new body after more than an hour of moving around this thick forest and intense rabbit hunting session before made her even more skilled. E, humans, really, meeting with other humans in the middle of this dense forest should be joyful things. Imagine if you get lost in the forest for a day and did not know where to go then you met with another group of humans suddenly. How happy it was. You can ask for direction, ask for some food or drink supply, or follow them out the forest. Tang Li Shui also immediately felt relaxed and happy for a moment but she quickly realized, she is not a human anymore. Look, big brother, that fox is so beautiful. Its pelt must be worth a lot of money the taller hunter said while pulled out his arrow from its quiver on his back then started to aim his bow toward Tang Li Shui. There were three people at total, a taller one, a chubby one, and a bearded one. Whatever, Tang Li Shui did not have any time to admire on how ugly they are anyway. Since all of them wearing crude beast skin leather as their clothes, just one glance and she already knows that they must be the hunters from a nearby village. Oh no, run because Tang Li Shui suddenly turned away and run, the arrow that the taller guy shot missed by a few inches from her tail. Be careful, do not damage its pelt too much, try to aim its legs first, the bearded one started to sprint to follow Tang Li Shui while warned his comrade. Shit, I hate barbarian, I hate hunters, I swear, the first thing this queen will do after become the moonlight forest ruler is to kick all the nearby villages away. Tang Li Shui did not know who but one of the hunters behind him shot another arrow toward her. The arrow passed Tang Li Shui's head by a few centimeters made her heart almost jumped out from her throat. Tang Li Shui ran away even more frantically, she also activated her, dash, 
skill in an instant while keep jumping around the bushes, she trying to make the hunters lose her track. Roar, eh, 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 lies, I, I must be hearing things right. My luck is not that bad, right? But the reality was really that cruel, the lion that she tried so hard to find before was jumped out from nearby bushes in front of her now. Why, why are you here? Damn, you are not those hunters lackey or ally, right? Why, why the hell your timing is so, arg, forget it, what I should do now? Hunters on her back, lion on her front, what I should do, turn right, turn left, but if the hunters kill the lion, how about my quest? Big brother, there is a lion in front of us, one of the hunters shouted to warn the others. Kill it first, hurry, don't let it hurt the fox, its precious pelt would be ruined by the lion, the bearded hunter ordered with his hoarse voice. Oh, they want to help me deal with the lion, bring it on then? Tang Li Shui's eyes glinted with crafty looks, she did not slow down and still ran toward the lion with her full speed. The three hunters shot their arrows aim their bows toward the lion and release their arrow at the time. Roar! Tang Li Shui's eyes were glowing with a silvery light as she began to use her newly acquired divine ability. Mirror of the Moon. Active. Copy start. Name. Lion's Roar. Type. Active skill. Copy completed. The hunter's three arrows precisely hit the lion's right eyes, left shoulder, and right front leg. The lion was wailing in pain but Tang Li Shui will not let this chance go. Lion's roar, active, roar. It was a really comical sight when a fox let out an intimidating roar like the lion but the effect works wonder. Tang Li Shui managed to stun the lion right in front of her along with the hunters that still behind her for a second but a second was all she needs to finish the dying lion. Tang Li Shui immediately pounced toward the dying lion and use her, bite, skill toward its neck. The lion's blood was spraying out everywhere furiously like a blood shower as Tang Li Shui's sharp fangs sunk deeply into its neck and tearing up the meat at its neck open. Express gained. Ding. Quest completed. Reward. Level plus 1. Stat point plus 1 5. Plus 4. Skill point plus 3. Plus 1. 30 deity coins. Plus 8. Ding. Congratulation. You achieved level 2. Plus 1 5 stat point plus three skill point. Yes, success, quest complete and level up, retreat. Of course, Tang Li Shui will not crazy enough to eat the lion's meat when there was three hunters behind her back. She only ate a mouthful piece of lion's meat from its neck when she, bite, it to death to finish her quest since the quest said she must kill and eat it but fortunately the quest did not say that she must eat all the lion's meat to finish it. Tang Li Shui did not know where to go. She only dashed around randomly and jumping from one bushes toward another one to hide from Hunter's view. Shit. How could they keep up with me? My speed already this high? Are they android in human skin or what? Tang Li Shui did not know that the human in this immortal world was full of cultivator even for the men from the small village. They must train their body until they reach at least third rank body tempering stage or higher before the village head permit them to go hunting in the forest. Moreover, these three people was the veteran hunters that reach at least 5th rank body tempering stage so their strength and speed already long surpassed normal adult human. Dash skill has increased to mastered, mastered? After level 5 is mastered? Not level 6. Whatever, let's leave it for later. Watching three hunters keep up with her speed and even started to came near her bit by bit made Tang Li Shui more anxious. How could this ugly big hunters move faster than me in the forest full of trees and bushes? They are clearly cheating. Judge. Referee. Help, they are cheating. Well, Tang Li Shui only reincarnated to this moonlight forest yesterday but this forest already these hunters home ground for many years. It was not strange that they are more adept in this forest than her. Actually, the funniest fact was that someone with a cheating system calling other people cheating. Shut up. I am about to die. -e -e. Let's think something fast. Tisk. Must I use my remaining free stat points to boost my agility stats? But she planned to save all the free stat points for the next evolution so she could boost the stats she needed later until it fulfills the requirement rather than blindly added it now. Then let's use skill points to boost my speed first for now. I have 16 skill points anyway. Tang Li Shui spent 3 skill points to buy 3 skills at once. You have gained greater speed ability, 
You have gained greater reflexes ability. You have gained greater flexibility ability. Greater reflexes. LV1. Greater flexibility. LV1. Greater speed. LV1. Can be combined into divine ability. Innate. Agility. With cost 10 skill points. Do you want to combine it now? E. It can be combined into divine ability. Even though the cost is quite high but of course I will but it now. You have gained divine ability. Innate. Agility. In an instant, Tang Li Shui felt a strange energy began to coursing inside her body. Fortunately, her body did not become extremely itch like when she evolved before. On the contrary, she felt her body felt so warm and comfortable while her bone felt strangely cool like a spring breeze. The surrounding wind that obstructing her way before turned into an obedient pet that assisting her now. Tang Li Shui feels her body getting lighter and lighter. Everything that shackling her movement before was shattered now. Wind is her ally that keeps assisting her way. Earth is her friend that keeps her balance. Goodbye, Slowpoke. See you next time when this lady become the queen of this moonlight forest. This lady will surely get her revenge. Fush. Tang Li Shui ran so fast that she only leaving several after image. Not good, it's too fast. How could it become so fast now? Is it still holding back his speed before? Shit. It only playing is like a fool, the tall hunter said in shock then curse in anger. Not good, we will lose that fox soon. There is no other choice. Use our binding arrow and web arrow, the bearded hunter shouted angrily. But, big brother, we already plan to use it to catch a demonic beast and sell its beast core to big city. A chubby hunter tried to argue. Idiot. Look at that silver fox fur. So beautiful and eye-catching. It must be a rare type of fox. Imagine if we manage to catch it and sell it to the aristocrat family in the big city. How much money can we get? For those rich suckers, one or two bags of gold is nothing. If we sell beast core to that greedy merchant in big city we will only get a few tens of gold coins. The bearded hunter scolded the chubby one harshly. Ah, uh, oh, big bro is right. Big bro, you are so smart, chubby hunter started to flatter the bearded hunter. Let's go, prepare to shoot now. We almost too late and let it escapes. Hurry, shot it before we lose it. The bearded raised his bow and commanded furiously to the other hunters. Pong. The tall hunter shot one arrow toward Tang Li Shui but this time the arrow he shot did not made from wood but from black iron and there was a strange inscription inscribed on its surface. Nyahahaha, with my super speed, super flexible body, plus super reflexes how could an arrow that slow can hit me? You must be joking, nyahahaha. Like what she said, Tang Li Shui tilted her body a bit easily dodged the black arrow and the black arrow stabbed deep into the ground near her. However, when the black arrow touched the ground the inscription on its body started to shine with eerie blood red light and Tang Li Shui started to feel that her body turned sluggish in an instant. Shit. My body suddenly feels so heavy, what the hell is happening? Go, web arrow. Catch that fox for me. The bearded hunter screamed and released the arrow with his bow toward Tang Li Shui. The bearded hunter's arrow was different from usual too. It was sparkling with gold color like the arrow made from pure gold but the arrow's body also inscribed with crimson blood color inscription. Bang! The golden arrow exploded in midair before it touched Tang Li Shui's body and forming some kind of binding like spider webs. The spider webs trapped Tang Li Shui's body in instant and it also quickly tightened up made Tang Li Shui's body unable to move even a little. Hug ya! Help! Release me you immoral bast road! Wait until this queen gets stronger. This queen will chomp your heads one by one. Handsome. Help. This is your time to repay your debt to this lady. Bawahahaha. We did it. We will be rich. One of the hunters said but since Tang Li Shui cannot even move her neck anymore, she did not know who said it. Then they began to discuss how they will share their huge profits this time. After a few minutes and the hunter took the bounded Tang Li Shui and put her into a sack, she began to feel hopeless. Sigh, is there no other way? Should I use my one and only trump card, the greater lucky sticker, now? Tang Li Shui tried to pull out her greater lucky sticker from her system inventory but since she still cannot even move all of her paws at all, she can't take it out and stick it to her body. She could only sigh in resignment. It looks like she can only give up for now and wait for a chance later. 
just when the three hunters turned their back and ready to head back to their village. Foosh, a fierce wind blade cut off one of the hunter's hands, the one that holding the sack containing Tang Li Shui. The blood spurted out furiously made all the hunters stunned in shock and disbelief, only after a few seconds passed the bearded hunter that got his right hand amputated shouting in pain. Ah, the bearded hunter kneeled while screaming in pain. Big, big brother. Who, who did it? The tall hunter face turned pale in an instant, he shouted in horror and panic. Leave that fox and scram. Tang Li Shui never realized that this always irritating voice could sound so refreshing in her ear like now. The three hunters still looking around wanted to find where was that sound come from but they cannot found anything. The three of them become even more scared and in the end, they started to kowtow. Expert, we, we are very sorry, we, we did not know that you like this fox too. So, please, please, spare us. The chubby hunter pleaded frantically while keep kowtow and hitting his head on the ground again and again. That fox is mine from the start, now scram if I still see you in one breathe. The three of them ran as fast as they can even before Xiao Hei finished his words. Someone that could cut their arm without being seen must be a master with far higher cultivation than them. It was already kind enough for the expert to spare their life rather than kill them all and rob their belonging. Actually, for someone like Xiao Hei, those three hunters were not even worth to waste his time and words. He could kill them easier than killing an ant. At least an ant was harder to see than those hunters. But killing commoners from the small village would only lower his own status and dirtied his own hand so he decided to let them go. Of course, if they say another word or trying to argue with him, he would kill them all without hesitation. Xiao Hei jumped out from who knows where and opened up the sack then let Tang Li Shui that still bound by the golden web rolled out. Ayo, 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 who is it? E.H. Is it the cocky fox that left morning? This seat thought the cocky fox is so powerful that it could flip the heaven upside down. Who knows that it caught by three small insignificant commoners. Ayo, how disappointing, Xiao Hei said with a tone full of ridicule while using his index finger to poke Tang Li Shui's nose again and again. Xiao Hei would not let this rare chance to mock this prideful silver fox waste just like that so he did not undo the golden web and tease Tang Li Shui continuously. Gur, I, want, to, bite him, so, badly, Tang Li Shui bared her fangs to Xiao Hei and her eyes stared at him full of anger. Ayo, so ferocious, so scary, what to do? This seed is so scared, let's just call that three hunters back and give this scary fox back to them. Xiao Hei put a scared act and walked toward where the three hunters ran away before. Lions roar, roar, Tang Li Shui roared in anger toward Xiao Hei. Enough, release this queen now. Or this queen will castrate you later. E.H., so strange, you can even roar, peefed, ha ha ha, are you truly a fox? You are acting more like a lion or a tiger than a fox. You really are good at making people more curious about you, Xiao Hei walked back with a mischievous smile plastered on his face. Smelly Xiao Hei, scummy Xiao Hei, this queen will remember this. Xiao Hei still did not release Tang Li Shui from her bind, he only carried her on his shoulder like a sack and bring her back to the cave. When they entered the cave, Tang Li Shui's sensitive nose started to twitch. This smell, such a familiar delicious smell, is it real? Xiao Hei put the bound Tang Li Shui on the corner of the cave then he continues back to roast his meat barbecue. Tang Li Shui did not know what kind of beast was that. It looks like a wild boar but it has four tusks. The fragrant roast meat combined with spice and cumin flavor filled the air made Tang Li Shui started to salivate crazily. Wow, so delicious. Tisk, tisk, combination of spice and salt to roast meat is really yummy, Xiao Hei said while making his chewing sound louder on purpose. What a genuine bastard, so hateful. This queen want revenge, oh no, this queen want roasted meat so badly. Xiao Hei glanced at Tang Li Shui and found out that she stared at him with a pitiful pleading looks. Ah ha ha ha, so you are giving up at last? I thought you were tougher than this. Sigh. Look at you now, so sweet and cute. You should make that kind of expression more often. This seat dares to bet that kids and girls would go crazy over you in no time. Xiao Hei chuckled while swung her right hand lightly. Tang Li Shui realized the golden web that binds her all this time snapped in an instant like a dry twig. 
Xiao He was smiling gently as he took out an expensive looking plate from his spatial ring and started to cut a thick roasted meat onto the plate then put it on the floor. Tang Li Shui rushed toward the expensive looking plate and started to devour the fragrant roasted meat greedily. This fragrant smell, this exquisite taste. How long has already been since the last time I taste this? I already forgot. This is the real food. Tang Li Shui started to tear up as she gnawing at the roasted meat nonstop. She did not even notice the system's message and the large amount of express that started to flow in. Congratulations, you achieved level 3, plus 1 5 stat point, plus 3 skill point. Eat slowly, be careful or you will be choked to death by it. Just relax. No one would snatch it from you, Xiao He said with a gentle tone and his hand started to caress Tang Li Shui's soft fur. Her silver fur always shines with a dim mysterious silvery light, it was also so soft like cotton and smooth like the highest grade of silk. It even made a cold-hearted demonic young man like Xiao He addicted to touching it. Xiao He waited for Tang Li Shui to finish her meal patiently. After she finished all of the boar meat by herself, Xiao He started to talk to her seriously. Xiao Bai, this seat, I need to leave this place and go back to my sect. I owe you my life but that is not my reason why I invite you. What I really want to say is that I really like you, would you like to go back with me to my sect? Xiao He said with a tone full of gentleness and pleading. He even stopped using, this seat, to beg to Tang Li Shui. He never had been this sincere like this before in his life. He also keeps staring at Tang Li Shui a pair of glittering eyes with eyes full of longing and anxiety. This should be a really touching scene between a young man and a young girl unfortunately one of them is a human while the other is a fox. Tang Li Shui stared at Xiao He with full of seriousness in her eyes. The time passed one second after another, made Xiao He even more anxious. Slowly, Tang Li Shui's eyes filled with ridicule as she spat on the ground full of disdain. Want me to go with you, dream on? This queen's home is only this moonlight forest? SC. You dot me Xiao He. Just go. This queen already bored to see your face. Tang Li Shui turned around with her back facing Xiao He and walking deeper into the cave. Xiao He's expression was full of disappointment as he says, sigh, and here this seat thought to make this kind of roasted meat every day for you. Tang Li Shui turned back and jumped toward Xiao He while thinking. You, you did not lie, right? You will make this roasted meat to me every day, three times a day not less. You must make me more, you promise? If you dare to lie I will turn you into a eunuch? Peefed, ah ha ha ha, okay, okay, Xiao Bai, I promise I will make the most delicious roasted meat for you every day. Xiao He laughed out loud, so free, and unrestrained while hugging a soft silver fox in his embrace. Xiao He took out a flying sword and jumped on the top of it with Tang Li Shui still lie comfortably on his arm. The flying sword started to fly. The speed was faster than sound speed but Xiao He put a transparent barrier on his body so the fierce wind that blowing did not bother him and Tang Li Shui at all. Tang Li Shui looked at the moonlight forest from the sky and realized that the place where she lives was only at moonlight forest periphery. That was why she only met with savage beasts all this time and no demonic beast around. She even saw a large winged lizard flew at the depth of the moonlight forest and there was a gigantic python jumped up from the big tree then ate the large winged lizard as if it was a snack. Tang Li Shui shuddered in fear. Fortunately she never really entered too deep inside the moonlight forest or she would certainly die without any corpse left. Goodbye, moonlight forest, but remember, the next time I come back is the time that I would become the rightful queen of the moonlight forest. After a few hours of flight, Tang Li Shui started to get really bored as she yawned lazily on Xiao He's arm. Just how far is Xiao He's sect, for God's sake? We have already flown at the speed many times of the jet plane and a few hours of flight with this speed should be enough to orbit my previous world for one round. Moreover, the surrounding was so blurry since they flown at an imaginable speed and Tang Li Shui cannot enjoy any scenery at all. However, Tang Li Shui realized that several times passerby people or some demonic beasts approaching them. It looks like they have bad intentions and want to look for trouble but Xiao He terrifying pressure combined with his chilling gaze full of murderous intent easily drives them all away. Tang Li Shui did not really get it, what are they so scared about but that people and demonic beasts were not a fool, 
The person that could emit such horrifying pressure certainly have very high cultivation and Xiao Hei's murderous chilling gaze means that he already killed a lot of people. If it was not three digits then he must be already killed four digits worth of people. What a dangerous world, sigh, I started to miss my previous world, though it's also quite messy but at least there are polices and laws to maintain order. Unlike this world. She became even more motivated to get stronger faster and started to check her current status. Species. Moon Fox. Grade. Common. Level 3. Samaritan. Cultivation Technique. None Martial Arts. None Divine Ability. Mirror of the Moon. Innate. Agility. Stats. HP. 3200 3200 Strength. 60 Agility. 93. Toughness. 60. Skills. Bite. LV5. Scratch. LV2. Hide. LV4. Dash. Mastered. Identify. LV3. Herbalism. LV3. Stats point. 64 skill point. 6. Item. Immortal Worlds Newbie Guide. 2x2 two two times express card. 1 hour. 7x recovery pill. 5x stamina pill. 1x bad luck sticker. 1x greater lucky sticker. 1x silver lottery ticket. 1x cultivation voucher. 448 deity coins. Level 10 beginner gift package. Not bad, I already pretty strong now, right? At least the tiger or lion will not possess any threat to the current me. Tang Li Shui checked her new divine ability to know what effect it would bring to her. Innate. Agility. The effect of agility status on user will be tripled. What? Tripled. Isn't that means my current speed right now equals to 279 in agility stats? Wahahaha. Yes. Another op divine ability in my repertoire? Tang Li Shui was really happy that she manages to find another secret feature from the system. She felt that her system was like a giant treasure box that waiting for her to uncover its secret one by one. So she could combine maybe two, three, or more skills into one op divine ability with skill points as the cost. Moreover, there were more than several thousand choices of skills in the system's list so there were countless possible ways to combine them. Then I can create, innate, toughness, with the combination of, greater defense, greater stamina, and, greater health. Then how about, innate, strength, meh. I have not enough skill point. I will need 13 skill points to buy and combine them. Let's just set it aside for now. Tang Li Shui decided to forget it for now since she currently only has 6 skill points and turned her attention to her, dash, mastered, skill. Mastered, what does it mean? Is it means the level already reaches the maximum and I cannot level it up anymore? Tang Li Shui tried to tap it and another window coming out. Dash skill already reached mastered. Do you want to upgrade it to sprint with cost 3 skill points? It could be upgraded too after reached mastered, damn, system. Just how many secret features that you still have? Sigh. Another three skill points will be gone this time. Whatever. I just need to do more quests and eats more later. Except. Dash ability upgraded to sprint ability. Dash. Skill disappeared from her status and changed into sprint LV1. Tang Li Shui did not know the exact effect from sprint skill since she still has not tried it yet but she guessed that it probably increasing her running speed more but also draining her stamina faster too so she must use it with more caution. However, from the experience that she got from the three hunters, she learned that speed was also not absolute, she could still get caught even with her speed tripled by her divine ability in the end. And the one that caught her was three commoner hunters without any status and money, so, she quickly concluded that the people with more money and status in this world would definitely have more cards to play than them. After racking her brain for a long time, Tang Li Shui came to one solution. The true key for her survival should be in, hide, skill. She believes rather than running away, it would be more convenient if they cannot find her at all in the first place. She could also mount a sneak attack on her prey or enemy using this, hide, skill. Since this skill, hide, can grant temporary invisible status to the user. Unfortunately, the flaw was also fatal. She cannot move when this hide skill still in effect or the invisible status would be nulled. But now with this skill upgrade features, she had more confidence if she upgrades it high enough. Even someone like Xiao Hei would be hard to find her later. Moreover, 
she started to suspect that hide, trail cover, silencer, odorless, and erasing presence skills could actually be combined into one more op divine ability. Unfortunately, again, she did not have enough skill point to buy them all and combine it for now. Meh, whatever, I will work hard to upgrade, hide, skill first since I only have three skill points now. Tang Li Shui decided that the first thing she would do after arrived at Xiao Hei's sect was to train her, hide, skill crazily. Not long after that, Xiao Hei and Tang Li Shui arrived at the bottom of a deep ravine. Tang Li Shui saw a large red calligraphy as if it was written by blood on the ravine wall. Asura Demon Sect, Ear, Xiao Hei, is this really your home? Isn't this place a little bit too dark, gloomy, and scary? However, when Tang Li Shui stared at Xiao Hei's face, what she found was not her usual scummy that liked to tease her but a noble, cold, and arrogant young man covered with a suffocating aura. What's wrong with him? Isn't usually people would become more relaxed when they go back to their own home? Why I feel that Xiao Hei is like going to war rather than going home? After walking for a few minutes, Tang Li Shui saw a pair of fully armored guards guarding the gigantic gates on the ravine wall. The gigantic gates were made from a mysterious black metal. It looked so ancient and sturdy with four giant demons engraved on it. Welcome back, young master. The two armored guards bowed full of respect and greeted Xiao Hei politely. Xiao Hei only answered them with, um, lazily without changing his cold expression and the gigantic black gates started to open by itself. Che, pretending to be cool guy now, but really, the atmosphere sounds very wrong, that two guards just now maybe look at Xiao Hei full of respect but I noticed that they actually surprised. Why? Because he comes back too quickly, or because they think that Xiao Hei should not come back anymore? Tang Li Shui still in deep thought while the gigantic black gates already opened but before Xiao Hei could enter. Well, well, I think who is coming today so it's my dear nephew. I thought you will not come back, this late. You are very lucky to not come back too late for your grandfather's birthday tomorrow. Xiao Hei stared at the person that talks to him. He squinted his eyes that full of hatred and murderous intent but he suppressed it in an instant and sneered coldly back at that person while saying. Uncle. This seat took his time to pick grandfather's gift carefully and not aware of the passing time but this small problem should not be uncle's business, right? Tang Li Shui was staring at Xiao Hei's uncle that stood in front of Xiao Hei right now. A chubby plump guy with the expression that always smiling like Maitreya Buddha and wearing black clothes with the same model as Xiao Hei but Tang Li Shui knew that behind that smile was hiding the most poisonous snake. Oh, God, it looks like I really made a mistake this time. These are not heavens at all but the poisonous snake's breeding nest. Xiao Hei, I thought you were the boss here since you always said, my sect this, my sect that, damn it, you liar. I changed my mind, I want to go back to Moonlight Forest now. Xiao Hei, bring me back now. Tang Li Shui really wanted to cry but there were no tears that come out. Okay, the forest may be really dangerous for a fox like her but could the danger higher than an evil sect full of scheming people with high cultivation? Eyes, such a bad luck. Why is my luck always bad since my previous life, Sai? Of course not, it's just that I as your uncle worried about your well-being. What if something happened to you on the way? I will not be able to forgive myself if that really happens. Oh yeah, by the way. Where is your right hand man that always follows you everywhere? Xiao Hei's uncle put exaggerating act as if he really worry about Xiao Hei. But his act was too fake or maybe he deliberately make it like that to provoke Xiao Hei but from his last question asked about the traitorous aid, Tang Li Shui guessed that he deliberately trying to provoke Xiao Hei. What an irritating fatty, as I expect from the scummy Xiao Hei's uncle, even I want to slap his face so badly right now. Xiao Hei was fuming with anger. His eyes bloodshot and his hands were clenched together tightly to the point where his nails started to pierce through his skin. Gritting his teeth, Xiao Hei wanted to jump out and kill his uncle so badly but he had no choice but to contain himself. He closed his eyes for a moment and inhaled deeply while keep whispering to himself. This is not the time yet, not now, but soon. When Xiao Hei exhaled, he calmed down a lot and slowly opened his obsidian eyes again. Thank you for uncle concern but this seat is healthy and well right now, as for Feng Yi, he has another important thing to do so we split up on the way here. This seat is tired now so this seat will not disturb uncle anymore. Xiao Hei saluted his uncle and entered the gate. 
Oi, oi, oi. You leave now? Just like that? This, this is not your character at all. Aren't you like those MC in the Wuxia novel? Cruel, decisive, overbearing, and op? You should just beat that ugly fatty like a crap or crippled him with one hit. Don't force this queen to change your name into Xiao Niang Pao, little sissy. Xiao Hei did not have any time to care about Tang Li Shui's curse as he had many urgent things to do so he brought her into his palace and leave her there for now. What a tenacious little circa oh. See. Crouch. He could even survive after all of that ambush. Tisk. A bunch of useless trash. And they still dare to call themselves the elders from virtuous sect. It looks like I must revise my plan a bit and start to take him more seriously. The kind-looking fat uncle was no more when Xiao Hei's uncle went back to his own room replaced by a sinister-looking fat old man. Moss, master, what this subordinate should do to the hostage. The black-clothed man kowtowed deeply until his head touched the ground and asked with a barely edible tone. Do you really need to ask, get rid of them all? That aid is really FC King useless. I even give him my most treasured poison. Heart-melding black poison and that trash is still failed. Really wasting all of my time and money for nothing, search for his news if he died then it's okay if not then I will make sure he will be wishing to die every single minute. The sinister fat uncle gritted his teeth full of anger. The black clothed man quickly went out of the fat uncle room in a hurry. His clothes were drenched wet in sweat. No one knows how cruel this fat man was better than him and what that uncle said, he will definitely do it. Not because of loyalty or money but it was because that old man was simply too scary and crazy. Tang Li Shui did not know that even though Xiao Hei was cold and overbearing but he actually a decent man but his uncle was different. Calling that uncle, villain was looking down on him far too much. While, insane, word was still too kind for him and could only barely able to describe him. What a pity, he has a really good self-control. If he dares to attack me back then on the gate I will surely, accidentally, crippled his dantian. No one can blame me if he is the one attacking me first. He <laughs> he. He sneered coldly while mocked at Xiao Hei. Sai, father, oh, father, why are you always sided with Zihao? Now Zihao already died. You even sided with his son, Ziyun? Am I really not good enough in your eyes? Fat uncle sighed in disappointment while walking toward the nearby window. The weather was quite nice with a blue sky without any black cloud but it did not fit with his current feeling right now. Father, please, do not force my hand, or I will. His voice became fainter as he squinted his eyes dangerously. The cold murderous aura emitted from his body was many times thicker and more terrifying than Xiao Hei. As someone sickly in her previous life, Tang Li Shui already lied down in her own small room for many years before, until she forced to work because her big brother diagnosed as being in a vegetative state. So how could she accept that even after become reincarnated into a mighty fox with system, she still must stay in the room quietly like before? In the end, she sneaked out from Xiao Hei's room to sightseeing around the Asura demon sect. Sigh, Xiao Hei's room is really full of expensive stuff. If I can bring one of it into my previous world, no, since I cannot go back then I only need to bring it out of here and sell it, but unfortunately, I am a fox now. Tang Li Shui proceeded carefully while keep using his hide skill since she already determined to upgrade it even further. Tang Li Shui observed Asura demon sect's surroundings and finds out that all the buildings follow ancient Chinese architecture. Basically, the buildings almost like the Forbidden City in her previous life but far more extravagant with two or more floors. There were also many pagodas that keep releasing some kind of strange vibes and it looked like arranged in some kind of array covering the entire sect but Tang Li Shui did not its exact function and could only guess it. The natural made wall that covered the entire Asura demon sect also has strange inscriptions carved on it and Tang Li Shui felt that it has some strange connection with the pagodas. Tang Li Shui also realized that most people in this Asura demon sect were actually not guards but disciples. Countless disciples with different uniform colors were walking back and fro. Tang Li Shui guessed that maybe there are about hundreds of thousands of disciples in here but because Asura demon sect was too big and vast. It still did not feel cramped at all. But the one that made Tang Li Shui happy was the fact that all the buildings here were so big and tall while her body's very small so there were the countless blind spots where she could hide. Just like now, she listened to some disciples' gossips from the corner of the park while activating her hide skill. Hey, do you hear that our little patriarch come back just now? 
Yeah, I know. Well, he is a good guy but you know, our Grand Elder is so scary. No one will dare decide with the little patriarch. Well, let's just skip all the unimportant part. Even Tang Li Shui spent few hours of her time to hear all their stories and opinions. To summary it all, Xiao He's situation was not looking too good. Xiao He's father, Mo Zihao was a wise patriarch and also a cultivation genius. Under his rule, the sect became abundant of resources and become more flourished in only five years. His cultivation also proceeded steadily and it would not take too long to catch up with the previous patriarch, Xiao He's grandfather, Mo Chanming. However, his uncle, the fatty Mo Chonglin felt threatened by Mo Zihao's achievement since he already coveted the patriarch position since a long time ago. Three years ago, Mo Zihao fell under virtuous sect's sudden ambush. Well, no matter what people think, this thing was too suspicious and reek of someone's scheme. Isn't it just like what happened to our Xiao Hei? But since there was no more witness and evidence, the investigation was stopped in the end. Of course, Xiao Hei's grandfather, Mo Chanming suspected that this was the fatty Mo Chonglin's scheme so Mo Chanming purposefully made it hard for the fatty and directly gave patriarch position to Mo Zihao's son, Xiao Hei, heir, his true name actually Mo Ziyun. Mo Ziyun himself was a super genius even more talented than his father, but he was only 15 years old when he became patriarch three years ago, it was also a given that his cultivation still falls far behind the 40 years old fatty Mo Chonglin. Unfortunately, Mo Chonglin's ambition was really big and he also very patient, he already started planning all of these for more than 20 years ago. His influence already rooted too deeply inside this Asura demon sect and his people were scattered everywhere on every corner of the sect. While Mo Ziyun was just a teenager when he held his post as Asura demon sect's patriarch. Luckily, his grandfather was silently supporting him from behind the scene or our Xiao He would not live long enough to meet Tang Li Shui. However, Mo Chanming was already too old and his time probably not long anymore. That was why he did not punish or kill Mo Chonglin and only bid more time for Mo Ziyun. On one side, Mo Chanming was using Mo Chonglin as a whetstone for Mo Ziyun so he, Mo Chanming, could force Mo Ziyun to mature faster also made him, Mo Ziyun, to learn from Mo Chonglin and become more cunning and decisive. After all, even if Mo Chanming killed Mo Chonglin with his own hand now, there was no guarantee that Mo Ziyun will not face the second and the third Mo Chonglin in the future. What would happen to the Asura demon sect if that really happened in the future when he, Mo Chanming, died later? Could Mo Ziyun strong enough to defeat the second and the third Mo Chonglin when Mo Chanming was no more in this world? On the other side, Mo Chonglin was also his son. If there was really no other choice or if something bad really happens to Mo Ziyun then Mo Chonglin will be his last resort to become the patriarch of his Asura demon sect. To be exact, Mo Chanming also cannot be blamed for his indecisiveness since the two of them was equally outstanding. Mo Zihao and Mo Ziyun was cultivation genius while Mo Chonglin's gift was his cruelness and cunningness. Actually, in evil sects such as Asura demon sect, the cruelness and cunningness were more important unlike in the virtuous sect where cultivation talent was everything. But Mo Chanming did not like the fact that Mo Chonglin's cruelness and cunningness was not only directed to enemies but also to his own family, sect people, and even to himself. That was why Mo Chanming became more supportive toward Mo Zihao's side. The current support distribution in Asura Demon Sect was 20% for Mo Ziyun, 40% for Mo Chanming and 40% for Mo Chongli, but this was only on the surface. No one really knows, how many exactly Mo Chongli's supporters were and he also really likes to play pig to eat the tiger. The situation inside the Asura demon sect right now was in stalemate. That was also why Mo Chongli chose to act against Mo Ziyun outside the sect. Well, this is not a business for a little fox like me can handle so let's just forget for now, Xiao He, ah, Xiao He. I really want to help but you know, I am not a Mary Sue with op medical skill or S rank assassin from another world or a person reborn with future memories or whatever op crap it is and my system also cannot help you at all, so I can only wish you luck. Tang Li Shui used her, hide, skill again while heading to another place after she was done eavesdropping the disciples gossips. Hide skill has increased to LB5, there is even a farm here? Are there even demonic beasts locked up inside? I already decided that I will come here again to check it after upgrading my hide skill. 
Tang Li Shui was strolling around the Asura Demon Sect for a few hours from Martial Depository where they keep martial art and cultivation books to the kitchen in the end. After successfully stealing, cough, cough, I mean tasting several dishes to be exact emptying many plates of dishes in the sect's kitchen without anyone knowing using, hide, Tang Li Shui finally managed to reach, mastered, level in, hide, skill. Hide skill has increased to mastered, at last. After wasting several hours and use, hide, skill for so many times until I want to puke. Damn. Let's see what skill it will be changed into. Hide skill already reached mastered. Do you want to upgrade it to stealth with cost 3 skill points? Yes. With this, her skill points was really exhausted to zero now. After satisfied filling her stomach with the proper delicious human food, Tang Li Shui decided to go back to Xiao Hei's room. She also tested her new, stealth, skill on her way back and realized many new things. Unlike, hide, when using, stealth, she could actually move around without breaking her invisible status but she could not use her other skill such as, sprint, or her invisible status will break. Another flaw when using, stealth, was she also cannot touch any object while in invisible mode even something liquid like water. Fortunately, something like water vapor or smoke will not affect her, stealth, at all. But Tang Li Shui was quite satisfied with her, stealth, since she could move around without being seen much more easily than before. Moreover, her agility was already quite high now and her passive divine ability, innate agility, actually stacked with, stealth. Tang Li Shui entered Xiao Hei's room but finds out that he still has not gone back yet. Then she remembers that fatty uncle said about Xiao Hei grandfather's birthday tomorrow and she also heard from the guards on her way that Xiao Hei went into the deep moonlight forest to find a special fruit to extend his grandpa's longevity as his birthday gift. Xiao Hei must be busy preparing for his grandfather's birthday tomorrow, that's why he has still not come back even until now. SSSHHHH, so boring. Vast Road Xiao Hei. Dump me in his room as soon as we went back. What kind of woman does he think I am? Why is it sound so strange? Meh. Well, I am bored anyway. Then a light bulb flashed in her mind as she thought. Eh, since I don't have anything to do, why I don't try to level up all my skills to mastered? Ha ha ha. I am so smart. She still has, bite, LV5, and, scratch, LV2, that have not reached mastered. As for, identify, LV3, and, herbalism, LV3, she did not even know how to level it up since it levels up by itself when she saw several herbs so she decided to leave it for now. Tang Li Shui jumped on Xiao Hei's soft bed and stared at his pillow while laughing mischievously. Scratch, again, scratch, bite, scratch. Scratch skill has increased to LV3, scratch skill has increased to LV4. After ruining Xiao Hei's pillow and bed for good, she changed her target to his blanket, bed curtain and carpet then started to spam her both of her, scratch, and, bite, skill again and again. Scratch skill has increased to LV5, bite skill has increased to mastered. Damn, this is awesome, why I never think to level up all of my skills this way before? When she thinks caves hard floor and wall in the forest that full of danger, well, in that kind of environment she would not have any kind of luxury to level up her skills in this strange way. Now I understand why all the house pets tend to ruin its owner furniture. Sigh. What a pity. My, scratch, skill only needs one more level up to reach mastered. Tang Li Shui looked around Xiao Hei's room and her gaze locked on Xiao Hei's wardrobe. She snickered full of evil intent and opened it up. Scratch skill has increased to mastered. After all of Xiao Hei's clothes shredded into pieces by her claws, she started to feel a bit guilty for Xiao Hei. Maybe, I am doing it too much, meh, it's his fault for abandoning me after going back, he doesn't even bother to give me food today, and he already promised to give me the roasted meats three times every day. Tang Li Shui activated her, stealth, and dashed out of the Xiao Hei's room. Since she knew that Xiao Hei would be so pissed off later when he finds out about it, she would not become stupid enough to still sleep in his room as if nothing happened at all. There were many empty rooms in the Asura Demon Sect anyway so she only needs to pick one randomly to sleep for tonight. The time already so pressing and Xiao Hei did not have any time to lax now. 
Handling his grandfather's birthday party was his job as the current patriarch and the party was tomorrow but he only managed to come back today so many of the jobs required him to supervise and he also needs to instruct something like money expenditure, food that will be served, decoration that must be used, etc. There were still some jobs left unfinished but he decided to leave it for tomorrow since he already too tired both physically and mentally today and now already midnight. When heading back to his room, Xiao Hei remembered about his Xiao Bai and felt really guilty abandoning her as soon as he got back here. He even broke his promise to give roasted meat to her every day, today. Xiao Hei turned around and went to the kitchen, there was no one in there at this hour so he went to pick some fresh meats and began to roast it by himself. There were some guards or disciples that still patrolling around even at the midnight and they shocked beyond words when they find out that their little patriarch has a new hobby now. Making roasted meat by himself at midnight. Xiao Hei ignored all of their strange stares and brought a large plate of sliced roasted meat back to his room. When Xiao Hei entered his room and saw his wrecked bed, his first thought was some thieves or his uncle's people came in to search for something. Prang! The plate full of roasted meats shattered as Xiao Hei dropped it to the ground and he began to panic. There were no important things inside his room but if those thieves find his Xiao Bai and doing something bad to her. Damn it! I will skin all of those people that dare to do this alive, Xiao Hei said with his chilling voice full of killing intent. But when he inspected it closer, he managed to find his bed, pillow, bed cover, all of it have many traces that they ruined by claws and fangs. Xiao Hei sighed in relief so it was his Xiao Bai that doing all of this. But after relief, as his tiredness and dizziness began to assault him, he felt his anger surging up uncontrollably. Xiao Bi -ai 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 -ai. Xiao Hei was shouting full of anger in the middle of the night. While Tang Li Shui was already fell asleep in the empty room near there. The next day, Xiao Hei grandfather's birthday went on smoothly without any major problem happened. As for Tang Li Shui, she disappeared from Xiao Hei's sight for an entire day and only came back to Xiao Hei's room tomorrow after the birthday party to ask for Xiao Hei's promise about her roasted meats. Xiao Hei's face twitched as he saw the unrepented fox in front of him moving her paw asking for her food, he really wanted to spank her ass so badly. In the end, Xiao Hei could only sigh in resignment. Well, it was also his fault for neglected her on the first day after they arrived at his sect. And so there was a new rumor began to spread amongst the guards and disciples even the elders that their little patriarch has a new hobby, that is roasted meat three times every day in his own courtyard for his new beloved pet, a silver fox. A few days of uneventful days have passed without knowing, nothing big seems happened other than a few small skirmishes between factions but all of that was not Tang Li Shui's business. But there was some big problem that annoyed Tang Li Shui. The roasted meat that Xiao Hei's make now are super delicious far more delicious than the roasted meat that he made in the cave before, but the express that I get now is also too little, almost negligible. Then Tang Li Shui realized that the problem was the meat itself, the roasted meat that Xiao Hei made in the cave was probably from a demonic beast at least, uncommon, grade. The meat was a bit too chewy and hard to swallow but gave a lot of express. The roasted meat that Xiao Hei's made in this sect was from proper pork or beef. It was so delicious that Tang Li Shui almost swallowed her own tongue. The meat was crispy outside while tender inside but unfortunately the beast probably only, poor, grade so the express she gets from eating it was so little. At this rate, it would take her a few months or even years just to increase one of her level. I must think something fast, my ambition is not to become a house pet, but gain my human form and become a deity like my uncle's son. Dash 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 on the Xiao Hei grandfather birthday's party day. Chef, where are the grilled chicken, roasted beef, and pork crispy roast? The disciple in charge as the birthday party's waiter asked. It was on the table. Just take it. I am busy now and still must cook vegetable stir fry and prepare some mushroom dishes. The chef was busily cooking. He did not turn his head and only answered casually. What are you talking about? There is nothing on the table other than empty plates. 
the disciple frowned and said in annoyance. Mate, you must be kidding with me. It's clear that I already cook it and put it on the table, and only you're here other than me. It's better if you cough it out now. Don't be such a jerk. The chef put his cook on hold and turned his body. He even started to roll his sleeve, ready to bash the disciple's head. Oh, you think I am the one hiding it? Or do you actually do this deliberately to teach me a lesson? FCK this shit. Do you think I am so easy to bully? Come on. The disciple charged toward the chef and the fierce fight began. No one realized that there was a small invisible silver fox sat on the table where all the empty plates were. Aia, such a stupid people. If you can't find the dishes just make another one. This queen is still starving you know. Such a pair of jerks. Sigh. It looks like I will need to wait for a while for my next meal. Tang Li Shui opened her Immortal World's newbie guide and started to read it to find any other method she could use to level up. She find out that different from her that consumed me to level up, all the cultivators used spirit stones and pills to increase their cultivation faster. Whether using the pure energy stored in spirit stones or refining the medicine efficacy from the pills, the cultivators could utilize it to become stronger faster like tempering their body strength, strengthened their soul, purify their qi, etc. The reason why Xiao He's uncle, Mo Chonglin and Xiao He conflict was actually closely knitted tightly with this reason and actually this kind of conflict was not only happened in a Sura demon sect but all over the immortal world. To become stronger cultivator need three things, talent, cultivation and martial art manuals, resources. With only relying on the talent without any resources, the most amazing genius would need 10 years to reach the peak of body tempering stage. However, the dumbest talentless idiot if given enough resources only need 5 years to reach the peak of body tempering stage. But to learn high ranked cultivation art or strong martial arts, you will need talent above all. So all of this will make a complete vicious cycle. To learn high ranked cultivation art or strong martial arts you need talent but to increase your cultivation faster you need resources. And to get enough resources you must become stronger, therefore, you need strong martial arts to compete for it. Talent can only be obtained at birth combined with perseverance, and hard work, it all depends on each individual. Anyone can get secret cultivation art and martial art manual when they join any sects as long as they were faithful to the sect. The elder or patriarch would bestow them with a copy quite easily since they could copy any cultivation art and martial art manual as many as they want. What about resources? Once someone consumes pills or heavenly herbs to increase their cultivation it will gone for good only one person can use it. Moreover, the higher their cultivation, the harder it will be to find the resources that suit their cultivation. For example, body tempering pills only suited for body tempering stage cultivator when someone with qi condensation stage eat it will not bring any effect to them. For someone with cultivation as high as Xiao He's uncle, Mo Chonglin, the resources he needs was too rare and hard to find so it was reasonable if he wanted to become the patriarch in order to claim all of it for himself. And this kind of case did not only happen in a Sura demon sect, it happened in all four evil sects and five virtuous sects. This was also the reason why even though four evil sects and five virtuous sects hated each other so much but they never really going on all-out war. They were too busy taking care of their own internal conflict. Imagine if two factions at odds like a Sura demon sect already so chaotic, the other sect should have more factions like three factions, four factions, or maybe even more, making the internal struggle far more bloody and chaotic. Tang Li Shui closed her Immortal World's newbie guide while rubbed her own furry forehead with her tiny paw. What a messy chaotic world, the way to the top really full of blood and corpses, meh, but come to think about it, I also need resources too. There were two ways that Tang Li Shui could think at this moment. The first one was using her quest system to level up but she must research it carefully first before determine how to use it more efficiently. That left her with her second methods, consume cultivation pills. She really wanted to try it, are cultivation pills really as potent as the guide said, would it work for a beast like her too? Then she started her research on her target for the next few days and she managed to find out. White robed disciples were only outer disciples, their cultivation only at body tempering stage. Easy target, of course. She must pick a weaker one to bully, ere to teach them a lesson. Blue robed disciples were inner disciples, their cultivation at qi condensation stage. Tough nut to crack. 
their strength was on par with weakest demonic beasts. Red-robed disciples were core disciples, their cultivation at acupuncture opening stage. Definitely not someone she could mess with. Black-robed men were not disciples but elders, their cultivation at foundation establishment stage. Well, they all knew that I am Xiao Hei's pet so they will not dare to hurt me, probably. By the way, Xiao Hei was also at the foundation establishment stage right now. Xiao Hei's uncle, Mo Chonglin was at core formation stage, that was why Xiao Hei did not have any guts and ability to challenge him for now. But Xiao Hei's grandfather, Mo Chanming was at the nascent soul stage and the strongest cultivator in this sect. Unfortunately, his lifetime was almost over. While all the elders busying themselves with their schemes and conflicts, the lower disciples also have their own share of conflict. Extortion, robbing, blackmail, even Arpe was a common occurrence inside all the sects as long as no massacre happening the elders will only keep one of their eyes closed. You, there is an intimate loving couple here, Giahaha. A group of white-robed burly disciples found a couple that kissing each other behind a tree at night and started to surround them. Kya, say, senior marshal brother, please, let us go, the timid white-robed girl started to tremble in fear. Xiao Yan, don't, don't be afraid, senior marshal brother, please let us leave, I, I will give you all of my body tempering pills so please, the white-robed girl boyfriend tried to defend her and gave away a bottle of body tempering pills. The leader of white-robed burly disciples took the bottle then said something full of contempt. Tisk. Only one bottle. Do you think we are a beggar or something? Ha. Huh? You must have more right, bring it all out. Say, senior marshal brother, there really is no more. We are only new disciples so, we only get a few months of, before the boyfriend could finish his words. The burly leader punched his face hard and they started to stomp him hard on the ground. He he he. Now there is no one disturbing us. Let's us try how our little junior sister, s taste on the bed. Ha 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 ha. The leader and all of his goons started at the white-robed girl that still stunned silly with a gaze full of L. U. S. T. But before they could went near the girl, there was silver shadow flashed in front of their eyes. Scratch, stealth, G-Y-A-A. My eyes. Who is it? What the fuck is that? Quickly catch it for me. The burly leader covered his face in pain. There were four lines of bloody wound that started from his upper right forehead to his left lower chin. The wound was not too deep, clearly, the one that caused that wound lacked in terms of strength. But its speed was unbelievably fast. The burly leader was not even having any time to defend or close his eyes before the attack came. The rest of the people raised their guard and started to look around but they did not find anything. Scratch, stealth, arg. One more of the white-robed goons' faces fall prey to the claw of justice. Damn it! What? What the hell is happening? Who is there? Come out! You coward! Ah! Again one more fell without anyone knowing what exactly happened and who the one that do it was. I, I don't have anything to do with this anymore. I, I, run, U-G-Y-A. This one turned his body and started to run away frantically but how could he outrun the silver fox that equipped with, an eight. Agility, divine ability, in the end, he also followed his friend and fell. The only one left started to kowtow and blabbering asking for forgiveness. I, I am forced to do this by big brother, senior, please forgive me. I, uck. But how could Tang Li Shui forgive this human trash scum, she also used her, scratch, to ruin his face and eyes. The white-robed girl looked at all the men that still rolled on the ground in pain and did not know what to do. She started to look around in fear. Goodbye little girl, you do not need to thank me. I am just a legend passing by, adios. Tang Li Shui brought a bottle of body tempering pills on her mouth and activated her, sprint, since she cannot use her, stealth, while holding something. She turned into a white shadow and flashed out from the scene in a second. After coming back into Xiao Hei's courtyard, Tang Li Shui ran to the back of the big tree and impatiently uncorked the bottle of body tempering pills. The concentrated smell of medicine started to waft into her nostril. Ugh, I really hate eating medicine, in my previous life. I already eat all kind of medicines every day for as long as I can remember. To think in this life I will eat medicine with my own free will even though I am fully healthy. Sigh. Here goes nothing. Tang Li Shui popped one of the body tempering pills into her mouth. The taste was not as bad as she thought it to be. On the contrary, it was a bit. 
Delicious? The taste was like herbal mint flavored candy. Tang Li Shui felt a great amount of express surging through her body, equal with when she ate the demonic beast roasted meat before. Express gained strength plus one. Oh, good stuff, again then? Express gained strength plus one. Express gained strength plus one. Ding! Congratulation! You achieved level four, plus one five stat point, plus three skill point. There were eight body tempering pills in the bottle and Tang Li Shui finished it all in only a minute. Sigh, it's over just like that. More, I want more, but my offense is quite weak just now if I did not target their eyes. I can only make a few shallow scratches on their face. Tang Li Shui decided to use 12 free points to increase her strength status to 80 and also upgrade her scratch skill. Scratch skill already reached mastered. Do you want to upgrade it to Sharp Claws with cost 3 skill points? Yes. Scratch ability upgraded to Sharp Claws ability. As usual, her Scratch Mastered skill disappeared from her current status and changed into Sharp Claws LV1. Now her offensive strength has gone up by one notch. It should be enough to leave some deep painful scars on those smug outer disciples' faces. But now she had another problem. On her previous encounter, Tang Li Shui already tried to use her wish to create a quest but she failed in the end. Tang Li Shui already guessed that system quest was not that easy to trigger now but she already got some gist about it. First, she cannot trigger it if something that what she wanted to do was judged by the system as too easy to accomplish. It made sense though if she could create a quest like, I want to sleep at noon. I want to eat roast meat this morning. I want to sleep on my bed tonight. And get plus one level every time she completed it she would definitely become a deity in less than a week. Second, she could only take one quest at a time and she must finish it first before taking another one. Do not look down on this condition because this was another deadly trap set up by the system. Imagine if she set up a quest like, I want to defeat Xiao Hei's fatty uncle, then she must definitely finish it first before taking another one. How long do you think for the current Tang Li Shui need to level up, evolve, and finally defeat a veteran core formation cultivator like Xiao Hei's uncle? 10 years, 20 years, maybe more, and she cannot take another quest before she completed it? Whereas the quest system was actually the fastest way for her to level up, so taking a quest beyond her current ability to finish it was actually a suicide so she must consider it really carefully. Meh, I will think about it later. Let's forget all of it and hunt for more pills today. You dare to ask for our body tempering pills share, Ching Wu. Who do you think you are? Slender outer disciple shouted in anger. There were also several of his friends that stood behind the slender looking guy ready to pounce to the guy named Ching Wu. Another case of bullying, but, that short guy named Ching Wu is really strange. I could feel some sinister aura from him. Let's look at the situation first. Tang Li Shui lazily sat on the nearby pillar while still in her, stealth, mode. I have no time to squabble with you all, give it to me now or die and I will take it by myself. I will give you three seconds to think. Ching Wu sneered mockingly at them. His voice was so hoarse that making it hard to hear what he said clearly. FCK, this little bast road really don't want to live anymore. Everyone let's teach our dear little martial brother a lesson on how to respect his senior. The slender outer disciple and all of his friends' faces turned really ugly because of anger. 3. Time is up die. Ching Wu murmured lightly then his body vanished like a ghost under all people's eyes. Bang, 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 bang. Tang Li Shui Agape in shock. Damn that Ching Wu is really vicious. He did not even count one and two but instantly jumped to three. He also basically one hit KO all of them at this rate, strong. Ching, Ching Wu, you, you, are, pay, peak of, body tempering, stage. The slender outer disciple stuttered as Ching Wu held his neck like a chicken waiting to be slaughtered. Correct. That's why I need many body tempering pills to break through to Qi condensation stage sooner. As your reward, I will grant you a quick death. Ching Wu said with a harsh tone while tightened his hand that was on the slender guy's neck. Ah. Uh, oh, this is bad, isn't it? He really planned to kill them all. Holish tea. Just how cruel is this guy? Isn't he already win? just take all of their pills as his trophy. Why needs to kill them all? Oh no, I need to help them all, fast. Ding. Quest. First battle. 
defeat a peak body tempering cultivator and save the outer disciples. Reward. Level plus 2, stat point plus 3 0, plus 8, skill point plus 6, plus 2, 50 deity coins, plus 1 2. Ooh, it works, okay, let's kick this shorty's asterisk ss. Tang Li Shui jumped out from behind the pillar and executed her usual set of moves. Sharp claws, stealth, however, this time her opponent was not the small fry like before. Ching Wu felt a dangerous breeze flew toward him and he instinctively tilted his face backward then throwing away the slender outer disciple toward Tang Li Shui. Bang! He managed to dodge Tang Li Shui's attack when he tilted his face backward and he also threw the slender outer disciple made him crashed with Tang Li Shui cancelled her, stealth, only in a single swift movement. Damn, he is really hard to deal with. How the hell he could even move like that as if he can really see me? Annoying little beast. How dare you attack me? I will send you with all of them to hell now. Ching Wu yelled out in anger then charged toward Tang Li Shui and began attacking her in frenzy. Ching Wu's speed was truly fast almost on par with Tang Li Shui. Unfortunately, he was only, almost, on par but still not a match for Tang Li Shui with her divine ability, innate, agility, along with her, sprint. Moreover, Tang Li Shui's body size was only as big as a cat made her really hard to hit let alone catching her. Sharp claws, PSH. Tang Li Shui jumped toward Ching Wu aimed at his vulnerable eyes but Ching Wu managed to predict it first and raised his right hand to cover his face. So Tang Li Shui's, sharp claws, only injured Ching Wu's right arm. Ching Wu used this rare opportunity to caught Tang Li Shui's tail with his free left hand but Tang Li Shui with her extraordinary reflexes twirled her super flexible body around and, bite, Ching Wu's left wrist. PSH, ARG. Ching Wu screamed in pain and Tang Li Shui would not let this rare chance go away just like that. Tang Li Shui jumped from Ching Wu's left arm toward his face and used her, sharp claws, toward his eyes. Sharp claws, puff. Tang Li Shui jumped again before Ching Wu's dropped to the ground and landed gracefully on the floor. Heck, she could even put a cool victory pose now. Ah, Ching Wu that fell off to the ground started to roll around in pain while holding his face. This time Tang Li Shui's, sharp claws, succeeded in injuring Ching Wu's eyes. There were four deep horizontal bloody wounds from his right temple to his left temple. Damn beast. You are dead. You are really dead now. Ching Wu slowly crawled up while keep holding his face and shouting combined with his messy appearances. He was truly like an insane person right now. Tang Li Shui also kept her vigilance up since she still did not receive any quest completed notification then it means that this battle was still far from over yet. Like facing a boss in RPG, is it mean that he has second form like in the game or something? Tang Li Shui kept her distance and she also did not let Ching Wu out from her sight. Come out. My martial soul, Ice Wolf. Ching Wu shouted with all of his strength and his feeble aura completely changed as the surrounding temperature dropped several degrees in an instant. Ow Wu, damn it. This looks really bad, and what the hell is that?